Okay. Oh, thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God the camera's back to normal. <laughs> No crazy photos of me having stickies again, although my hair looks like shit. Hello, how are we? Hi, hot bitch. Hi, chat. Hello, everyone who's watching the VOD. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, let me stretch. I slept so badly last night, so badly. My neck is crinked, everything bloody hurts. I've got anxiety about starting a job this week. It's just a lot of things. It's a lot of things. But on the plus side, today is Nuzlocke Day, babies. Today is Nuzlocke Day. We're on day 12, day 13, I don't fucking know, some kind of day. And today is all gonna be about training, I think, for the Pokemon League. Yeah, and we have a long way to go because Foggy is very much a very low level. Not good, not good for us. Oh, how are we? How's your Pokemon, uh, how's your Pokemon Team Rocket game going, Hot Bish? You enjoying it? I hope so. I hope you are. My mouth is so dry. Starting to think whether it was a good idea to, to hatch that egg or not, or just catch somebody along the way in here who can help us a little bit quicker. Hello, Aussie Duck, how are you? Aussie Duck, I've seen that you've sent me a message. I've been a bit busy this morning. I haven't been able to read it, but I'm sure it will be juicy as hell as always and I get to read it. As soon as I end the stream today, I can't wait. Gosh, I, I feel like as well, recently, I haven't slept very well this last week, right? Like, just at all. And my face feels like hella swollen for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what's causing it. But my face feels so, so, so swollen. I, bet I, I feel like I look swollen as well. Maybe it's just because my hair's getting bigger and I've already got a big ass head. So when I have long hair combined with my big ass head, everything looks bigger than it actually is. Right. Do we need to even go to the Pokemon Center or not? Probably not, right? Did we leave it with the moves? I feel like we've just we've just gone. Okay, we've just gone, so I don't need to go back. I don't need to go back. We've done that bit. We need to progress through Victory Road so we can get to the Pokemon League. And then it's just uh, train, 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 train. Train, 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 train today. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> Fucking gunk shot at level 45, this Ekans. I don't remember how long this Pokemon League is. This, sorry, this Victory Road is. I don't know if it's going to take us a while to get through there or not. Hopefully not. Ugh. Gorgeous. Still trying to wrap my head around today. It's to do with why I messaged you about previously. Um, I'm excited. If you're trying to wrap your head around it, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to read. And to get all the dirty gossip. I love gossip. Gosh. I've been looking uh, for the last two days now for something to wear. What do you wear to a job? <clears throat> oh my god, what the fuck is this thing? It's purple, so I'm assuming it's poison. Let's just leave this shit. I don't want to fight this. What do you wear to a new job that you've not... Like, I'm going for a trial shift. I don't know the man... I only know one manager because she's my friend. But what do you wear to a job that tells you the dress code is no tracksuit bottoms and no hoodies? What do you wear, like... Obviously, no, obviously I'm not going to turn up in tracksuit bottoms and like obviously I'm not going to turn up in a hoodie but like what the hell am I supposed to wear? That's all the information I was given and so for the last two days I've been racking my head around what I should wear because if you've been following the stream for a while you'll know that me and Tom had like a full-on Marie Kondo clear out not like three weeks ago in which we probably threw away like and donated like 15 black bags worth of clothes. We went down from like the equivalent of like seven wardrobes down to two, if that. And now I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to wear? I'm like, maybe this like plain black long sleeve top. It's only got like a weird face design on it and some jeans. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've worked. So I don't know. I have no idea. Plain black t-shirt and smart black trousers. I think you'll be God's that stars. I just caught Hot Bishop on it all as well. <laughs> I love that. Or a black shirt. I have a black shirt. 
I have a black shirt. I've got, I don't have any like plain black like suit trousers. I don't really wear suits. And it's also like, it's a pizzeria. So it's quite chill, you know? So maybe like black jeans will be fine. I, I'm just dreading that I turn up and either I look way overdressed or I look scruffy compared to the rest. Do you know what I mean? From what I remember, one of my friends, AJ works there, I think. So, well, he did at one point. I don't know if he still does. Hopefully he still does. But he's very like quirky, hippie, that kind of vibe. Like he's got really long, curly hair, covered in tats. He always wears like fun, like Hawaii kind of shirts and stuff. Like, so I'm thinking something a little bit fun, but also professional, you know? Safeguard. Do we want this? Who is this? Drunk Master. No, we don't want this. We do not want this. But yeah, I don't want to turn up in a black t-shirt and black trousers and like everybody in like colours and stuff. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. Like my anxiety is through the roof as is. I do not want to stick out like a sore thumb. That's my one thing. My one big thing that I'm like, Ugh. I just do not want to look like I don't belong it, it, from the get-go. You know, I also don't want to do my hair. Black jeans would also work. Hi, Shasky, how are you? Go with the black shirt and jeans. Black shirt and jeans, okay. I have, the black shirt I have is like a, obviously you guys know me, but 48? Why are we going against such high levels in here? Oh, thank God, that scared me. Yeah, the black shirt, you know me, I don't do anything by halves. My black shirt is like a plain black, I've got a plain black long sleeve with like a wrap around that's like attached to it. It sort of looks like a little, like a little triangle, like that goes along here and like you, you, it pulls it around your waist and like tightens your waist, which is quite nice. But then I've also got like a really funky black shirt that's like detached. So it's like, it looks like a black vest with a collar, but it's not. And then it's got like one sleeve and two sleeves and it's all joined by chains. It's like, it's not too out there. Like it's still professional looking. It's just a little bit different. It shows a bit more skin, which I'm a little bit weary of. So I'll have to have a look. I'll, I'll have to take some photos and put them in Discord and you guys will have to tell me which one looks correct for corporate. You know what I mean? Corporate correct. I mean, it's not corporate, it's hospitality, so it's fine, but. Oh. Do it for the first day, see what everyone else wears, and then go for that. Well, thank God it's only, a, it's only a trial shift on Friday. So I'll do the stream Friday and then I go for... I think it's two hours, two hours, and it's basically, it's it's a trial shift, but my friend's basically giving me the job, so it's very much just me turning up and having a look around and seeing where things are, like learning the layout, learning the menu. In fact, I need to text her today, to be honest, and be like, is there any cocktail specs and stuff that I need to learn? Because the job is literally a bit of everything, so. I'm sort of being put in as a, because of my experience, I'm sort of being put in as somebody that's like, I'm gonna just cover, I'm working on the weekends, but I'm gonna cover every shift that needs covering kind of thing, so. I might be on the bar one day, then I might be hosting, then I might be like doing, I don't know, fucking paperwork, I might be cleaning shit, who knows. I do love a good cleaning shift. Getting paid to just clean things, oh, I live. I live for that. Less customer facing roles as well, ha 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 ha. You did a job ready course many years ago, and the one thing they said is when it comes to hospitality and views and whatnot, black pants and black shirt is always the best. Uh, but as most hospital hospitality jobs have black uniforms. Very true, actually. Yeah, very true. Also, it's I feel like that's because a lot of the time we don't want to get messy. You know, like hospitality, you deal with like food and drinks and stuff. You don't want to be, um, you don't want to be covered in shit, basically, you know? So yeah, you don't want all the stains. <laughs> I made that mistake in my first ever hospitality job. My first ever hospitality job when I was like 15 years old. 15, 14, I don't remember that time. I was 14 when I, 13, 14 when I did the golf course. So I must have been like 15 when I moved into the restaurant bit. And I wore, my dad was like, you need to look smart. Cause it was, a, it was a hotel. So it was like, it was really smart. So you need to look really smart. So I put on a white shirt. I put on black trousers and I had some like shit flickers on and everything. Fucking awful. And I remember picking up my first plate and dropping it. And it had like sauce all over it. So the sauce went all over my top. It was just not, 
it was not good. And then I had to like do the rest of it looking like that. And I just looked a fucking mess because I had no idea what I was doing either. Hilarious. Hi, Lauren. How are you, my love? Nice to see you. I am excited though. I'm excited to actually get back out again. It's been a long time, as you all know. It's been like what? December, January, March, April. We're in April, aren't we? So it's been six months since I've worked. I've had a six month break, refreshed, back on it. It's not gonna affect the streams. I'm still gonna get to stream and do what I love, which makes me happy. It's only a little weekend gig, three shifts a week, if that. It's part time and zero hour as well, so there's probably gonna be times where like, we're coming into summer now, so it's gonna be busy. I've kind of like skipped the worst of it, but if you know hospitality, when you're on like zero hours and stuff, sometimes there's never any shifts for you to have. I'll always be safe with that though, because um, my friend is the one that does the rotor and she knows I work my ass off and I will always work my ass off when I have a job. So she knows for sure that I'll be grinding and grinding for her. Cause there's nothing worse than being referred by somebody and then that person doing a shit job. Like the amount of times I've referred people that I thought who under me worked really well and then I've referred them to other places after they've left and then they've done a really shit job and it makes you look bad. So I ain't about to make my friend look bad, you know? And your pup is so sweet. She's definitely claimed me, but she needs training. Bella's so adorable. Her her little dark tail that she's got with the rest of her fur is just incredible, Aussie dog. Like she's stunning, absolutely stunning. So happy for you to have a new job and sound happy. Thank you. Well, I sound happy now because that it's less stress about like paying for the move and things like that. But I don't know what we're doing, guys. I still don't know what we're doing about moving houses because we have, me and Tom basically have <laughs> two months, three months to figure our shit out, like honestly. But realistically, when I say figure our shit out, I mean Tom figure his shit out because the job that he was gonna have fell through and then he did the interview and then it was like, okay, you're not quite ready for this, but we do want to take you on. Let's have a chat next week kind of thing. They never had the chat next week. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like Tom's out of the loop as well. He's got no idea. Like Tom's just going to work, waiting for this guy to ring him and be like, this is what we need you to do. This is where we're going to start, blah, blah, blah. But he's not, um, he's not called. He's not done anything. And that's why I said, do you remember when I said, it really annoyed me when they basically were saying like, oh, you're not quite ready, but we want to come and train you. And like, we want to basically use you for what we know you're good at and keep you at the same level that you're still at. And I've like, I've literally had to sit Tom down and be like, you need to start fucking fighting for what you want, babe, because it's all well and good being like, oh, it's a good opportunity. It is a good opportunity, but you've been in the same company for eight years and nobody's helping you progress. So it's giving time to fucking look elsewhere, you know, time to look elsewhere time to go work with somebody who actually gives a shit and wants you to progress. Like the last place I was with, I left because it was the, my general manager, if she ever sees this, Miss Asha Kavleska, Kavolska, Kavolska, Asha Kavolska, bitch, despise, hate, one of the worst management members I've ever had in my entire existence. I've never worked with somebody so inept in everything. I've never worked with somebody so fucking lazy. I've never worked with somebody who, like I, I, on, on my memories on Snapchat, it's quite funny. On my memories on Snapchat, it came up because I used to use Snapchat to take photos of our products for like social posts and stuff because obviously of all the filters and things. Um, I'm a millennial, so yes, I don't know how to do TikTok and all that shit, but I use Snapchat because it's easy and it's good and the, and the photos worked and corporate was happy with it. But I was looking back yesterday on my little like recap of the month or whatever for the years and I couldn't stop laughing because one of the photos was a message from my old general manager saying one, two, three, four, five people have turned up late or have pissed me off while I've been on the ship with them or hasn't done blah, 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 what all these things. Uh, you need to make sure that you fix this immediately. I was getting engaged in Gran Canaria when this text was sent. And then the following day, she texts me again. I'm still in Gran Canaria, by the way, on a two week holiday, paid holiday that I took off from work. And she's texted me again the next day saying, have you actioned this? Where are the, in where, why are the um, disciplinary interviews not set up? And all of this. And I'm like, bitch, I'm in Spain. I'm on a catamaran getting engaged. What the fuck do you mean? Why have I not set this up? I'm off for two weeks. Why are you texting me? Why are you messaging me? Like, what the fuck? Go away. And then I remember getting back and on day one, she was like, um, so, I, so I noticed you turned your phone off whilst you were away. 
And like, that's, you just know then, like, immediately, oh, fuck you, like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't owe you nothing. I work when I work, and then when I book my time off that's paid, that's by law, I'm gonna take my time off to do me, you know? But day, but day one, she was like, well, obviously because you had your phone off, you, you've missed so much. So here's 5,000 emails you need to read. Here's all of this shit you need to do. You've got like five more tests you need to do. All those things that you, all those interviews that you were supposed to sort out for me, I've done, so don't worry. And I'm like, I'm not worried. What do you, what, what do you think? And then that fateful Saturday night, like that fateful Saturday night, when she decided to take the weekend off because she wanted to simply because she wanted to, not because she needed to, not because it was booked holiday. She took a weekend off when our bar manager, uh, my second in command, so the stand-in restaurant manager, um, and our duty manager were all off because they'd all booked it. So it was supposed to be me and the general manager all weekend. Um, and she was like, I'm not coming in this weekend. So I was like, so I'm opening and closing Friday, Saturday and Sunday after I've just done a 12 day week. Okay, but no, like no. And then that Saturday night, I literally rang her because it was horrible. We had no staff. We had no money to, to bring any staff in. Like we couldn't, we literally couldn't afford anything. Um, and so she was expecting me to do all of this and pull out all these. By the way, I didn't get paid any extra for this. Like this was not, it was last minute. You're now doing open close. You're, you're opening the restaurant and, sorry, opening the business and closing the business Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which means that I had to be there at like six in the morning on Friday, Saturday, Sunday mornings. And I didn't finish on Friday night till probably two in the morning, Saturday night till probably six in the morning. So I literally went home, had a nap and came back. And then the same with Sunday. And she expected me to be in the Monday as well. But that Saturday night, I rang her and was like, hi, it's gone to shit. I'm out. Like, I'm, I'm worth way more than this. Way more than, way more than you will ever understand. And I do so much more for you than you even care to admit that, quite frankly, you can suck a bag of dicks and come and close it yourself. So I left my keys on the desk and was like, bye. And I just walked out. And that's how I quit. And I've never done that. Ever, ever, ever done that. I've always, always, always left my jobs on good terms, always. That's the first one of the, that I really didn't, and I just didn't give a shit. I never took the keys back, I never took my fob back, I never took my uniform back, I never took anything back. I haven't been there since. And all I see now is Snapchats and stuff from the people that I used to work with there that are all working different jobs because nobody wants to work for them because they're shit. Like, it's embarrassing. I got out just in time, I fear. Just, just in time. But yeah, the, ma the managers that I'm going to be working with in this place are my best friend and a guy that's apparently like really lovely. So I'm excited. Hopefully it's, you know, exactly what I am looking for. But there'll be no surprises here, which is what I'm, which I was just, I was so tired of in my last job was all the surprises like, oh, you need to come and do this. You need to come and do that. You're all of a sudden you sh like my shifts used to change when i say my shifts used to change all the time i mean hourly like in the last place my sh my shift pattern was very specific because when and again i say this with every job that i go into and i urge anybody looking for a job to do the same go in and only take a job that is willing to accept what you are offering them not what they're offering you so my, when I moved into this in the last role and I moved up into restaurant manager because I literally progressed so fucking crazy with it, it was wild. Um, I told them, if you want me to be restaurant manager, I need Thursdays off and I need Sundays off. They're my two days of the week that, I, that are my non-negotiables because that's the day that, they're the days that Tom has off of his job and so I want to be able to see my fucking fiance, thank you. Um, and they were like, yeah, absolutely fine, that's fine, no worries. And I was like, no, like, they really cannot change. Don't expect me to be coming in on, on, you know, why can't I do that on these days? Don't expect me to be coming in on these days because, like, and don't wrote to me because I won't be turning up. And I remember it was agreed. I asked for more money than what the salary was as well. And they said yes. And then when I got into the role, I wasn't put on salary. I didn't get anywhere close to what I was promised. And I had to work every single Sunday because I was the restaurant manager and apparently that was part of my responsibilities. 
I safe to say I was the restaurant manager there for like three months and I was like, I am out, baby. Like this is not it. This is not it. How do we get over there? Yeah, I was not having any of it. Not having any of it. Uh, does she not read the roster? Do you know do you know why she didn't she didn't know I was on holiday for the first week. So she, my general manager approved my holiday to Gran Canaria for two weeks my, with my family, right? She approved the holiday. And then for the first week, she was apparently asking everybody every day, why is Ben not here today? Why is Ben not turning up for the meetings? Why is Ben all of a sudden? And everyone's like, baby, you know that you give him two weeks off. Like he's literally in Spain right now. And she's like, oh, is that why it says holiday on the rotor? It's like, well, yeah, mm, of course, that's why it says holiday on the road. So like, it's been approved months in it wasn't even approved months in advance it was in, it was approved a year and a half in advance because i booked it a year and a half in advance for my parents so i knew for a fact that it was approved because i had done it a year and a half in advance like you can't say no to that you cannot say no to that i had all my paid holidays saved up and i was out you know and i booked a day either side as well because i knew that i was going to be packing for going and stuff and then when i got back i'd be jet lagged and tired so she just was like, where is he? Why is he not turning up? Like, girl, please, get a grip. But she was awful, like, honestly. She, she was one of those managers that she obviously had no fucking idea what she was doing. And she hated when anybody questioned it because it made her look stupid. And, like, I get it because you do look stupid because you're a general manager on 40,000 something, more than that, probably, a, a year. And we're all on pennies and we're doing 60 hours a week and you're doing 15. Like, it's not correct. She used to come in on her days off, alter the rotor. Like, she used to come in when I used to do, like, uh, uh, Tuesdays. So I used to do Tuesdays. And Monday nights, she were So Monday mornings, all the managers were getting together, do the management meetings, set up for the week, everything. And then she'd do the Monday night. And we were supposed to close at 11 p.m. every single weeknight, except Friday, Saturday, and uh, Sunday, obviously. And she used to... The, like, the, the little post you have to do in the WhatsApp group at the end of the day that was like, oh, you know, this is what we achieved today, this is how much we made, this is what time we closed, blah, blah, blah. She would send that message at half past eight, baby. She would send that message at half past eight, and if it was later than half past eight, we all used to be like, she stayed open for the correct amount of time today? Wow, like, she used to close the venue hours, hours before it was supposed to close. And then I'd do the Tuesday, and then what would happen is I'd do the Tuesday evening, she'd try and sneak in at like 7pm whilst we were busy in the restaurant. But I know what I'm fucking doing, so everything was managed, so I was doing all my paperwork in the office. And she used to come down and say, oh, you're, you're down here, what's going on? And I'd be like, I'm doing my job, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be in today. And she's like, oh, I just got to do a few things, logs onto the computer, logs onto four, logs onto the rotor, cancels her shifts for the week, puts all the rest of us on, and she goes, can you print that out and put it on the board for me? Like, bitch, no. Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely not. I could never work with, with somebody like that again. And this is the same person that was very, um, that was very like, how do I explain it? When I told you all about like the, the bar manager and how he was quite misogynistic and stuff, she would sit there and be like, yeah, no, I agree. Like she's the woman and she'd sit there and say, yeah, women can't be bartenders. Women can't work on a bar. Women can't deal with the pressures of, you know, all of, all of this. Like, I just fucked this up. I have, haven't I? Yeah, I need to, oh. Yeah, she'd have like a whole fucking thing. She, she, she's just awful. You're intact to have your time off and it's your time for you. Exactly. I only walked away from two jobs because I didn't like how I was treated. Did she not know what holiday was and agreed to it thinking it meant overtime? Quite frankly, hot bitch, that, that makes so much sense. Like that, genuinely that makes so much sense. Probably, probably. Like honestly, it's so confusing to me. She's just awful at a job. Like her, she's one of those, she's the dictator, not a manager. Like. I, can, I came into the position knowing full well that I had done it before, but not to the capacity of what the brand I was with wanted. I'd done restaurant managing for Bella, Bella Italia. I'd done supervising, team leading, that kind of stuff in many other places. But she was expecting like rosette, five star, Michelin star, service and i'm like we're not that kind of place you know we're the kind of place where people are, are regulars where people are um 
the same business people coming in every single day from you know their own businesses for like a, a meal in the middle of the day or like the same families on repeat every weekend or like the same groups of um like lads and women and like hindus and stuff that we get on a saturday and like the same elderly people that we get for sunday roast every single week like the, the clientele never changed like i knew so many of the of, of the of the customers like by first name basis um and she didn't know any of them and then we have like we had a um we had a thing with that business called the guest woo and it basically meant that like if something was going wrong or if you wanted to go the extra step further to really make somebody's day or whatever it was um then you would guest woo them which would mean that you could give them a free bottle of champagne you could give them a free round of shots you could get them a free dessert or, or whatever it might be just to make either fix an issue or make somebody's time so much better that they're gonna leave like an insane review or like really bump about their posts on social media like when we had influencers in for example like we we used to get influencers in quite a lot like social media people that used to come in and take loads of photos of the venue and have like a really good time doing all of these things and like it was lush oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god stop 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 what the fuck is going on oh my god i'm scared i'm scared it's this fucker again with close combat my god but yeah I, it, i'd be like okay well we'll, we'll use you will utilize it right so derek one of the guys who one of the um older men who used to be in every single day derek was lovely he always used to tip like between five and ten pound cash after every single drink that you served him and he would make sure that somebody different on the bar served him every single time so he could tip every single person so you knew when derek came in you'd give him a lot of love do you know what i mean because he's not only doing it to um be nice like he's just that kind of person he was lovely and so i would then on like sundays and stuff the quieter days i'd go above and beyond for him every single time and like his first pint would be on us because if you're going to come in and tip the staff for their hard work every single time like he will come in and pay five pound for a beer and give you five pounds for serving at him and then the next one he'll have like a 12 pound whiskey and he'll give you like a tenner for serving at him like he matches the tip to what drink he's having like he was so lovely and he had a lot of money and he was really 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 sweet and so I used to give him free beers. Like I give him his, his first beer for free on a Sunday. And he knew every time I was on the Sunday open that he could come and get that and that it would be free. And I remember one week our like our list of how much we'd give him for free or whatever, like our spends and stuff, it was a little bit out. So we were never normally out. And I looked and I could see quite frankly, nothing had been altered in what was giving, what was being given out weekly. Cause like we'd only do it like once or twice a day and it would only be for special occasions. And sometimes it'd be days where we didn't bother because there was nobody really that was being very nice to us and we just didn't want to give anybody anything. But there was on the sheet, I could see there was three bottles of champagne, uh, three bottles, sorry, of Prosecco that we sold for 32 pounds each. Um, there was three bottles that had been expensed and I'm like, well, who's taking Prosecco? Like, we don't, we, if we give Prosecco away for free, like a whole bottle, very rare. We give glasses, sure, but there's a button on the till that would, that was called Free Fizz, and you could give away free bottles of, uh, free glasses of Prosecco, and it wouldn't cost us a penny. So I'm like, well, somebody's taking bottles of Prosecco. So I went into the meeting being like, we need to investigate who this is to see who's been nicking Prosecco. And she turns around and looks at me and says, um, Guys, we're like actually massively, massively, massively uh, dealing with uh, stock being down and things being taken away and we're giving away too much stuff. Ben, I've heard that you give Derek a free beer every single time he comes in. And I'm like, no, I give him a beer. I give him his, fr his first beer free on a Sunday because he comes in seven days a week without fail, spends at least two to three hours in the venue at any given time, tips every single staff member that's on the bar. And if he had food, which was very rare, but if he had food, he'd tip the entire floor team in one thing. Like he'd have like a meal and then he'd be like, how many staff are on? And I'd be like five and he'd be like sound. And he'd put 50 quid in a jar for him. Or like he'd put 25 pound, like depending on how much he was given that day or whatever. Like he was lovely. So we treat him like royalty, cause you should. If you treat, if you treat staff nice in hospitality, just know you will get everything that you want. You treat them like dickheads, you'll get nothing. It's as simple as that. But I remember her calling me out and being like, you can't do that anymore. And I was like, I will continue to do that. And she's like, no, I've told you that you can't. And I said, well, are you going to investigate where the Prosecco has gone? And she's like, what do you mean? And I said, I, I'm me. Like, I am never going to a, an altercation at work without proof and receipts. So I printed out the last month's worth of 
sorry, the last two months worth of where our expenses were going. And you could see that there was maybe like a five to 10 difference in each week, five to 10 pound difference, it was nothing at all. And then you could see that this week there was Prosecco. And I knew, cause I'm not dumb. I knew that it was her. I knew that she had taken the Prosecco because she always used to. She used to literally come up from, she'd do the open on a Monday, do the manager's meet and say, oh God, it's gonna be a horrible week. And then she'd go into the fridge, grab a bottle of Prosecco, whatever bartender was on, she'd say, expense that. It's like, your bartenders can't expense things. It's your managers that need to do that. Like she didn't even know that, she didn't even know that that wasn't something that could be, do you know what I mean? It was just fucked. So I, I took, literally turned around and said to her, I was like, well, are you gonna pay for the Prosecco that you took? And she's like, what Prosecco? And I was like, the Prosecco that I got you on cameras, three, four, five, taking Prosecco on Monday, Tuesday, and fucking Thursday. So you're saying that I can't give something out to a guest, which is our policy, but it's okay for you as a general manager just to take Prosecco and not put it on the till. Like, even if you did put it on the till, it wouldn't have been an issue because it wouldn't be missing. Like, you know, you can get around things like that. You can put, say there's seven glasses, well, like six glasses of Prosecco in a bottle, put through three, six free glasses of Prosecco, your bottle's sorted, like that's what we used to do for gifts. When our staff members are doing well, when they go employee of the month, whatever, I used to give gifts out all the time, like I used to do gift cards, I used to do bottles of Prosecco, we used to give bottles of like D-list products, or like wines that we weren't selling anymore, like we just used to give bottles away for free if you like did really well that day, if you upsold 10 of something or whatever. And she just looked at me like that. You're really gonna talk to me like that? And I remember just being like, or I can talk to your boss. Cause me and her boss were like this. Her and her boss were like this. Me and her boss were like this. So, cause he was a hardcore area manager. Your typical, like when he walks into the venue, everybody stood to fucking attention. You've got to be cleaning. You've got to be on your hands and knees. Everything's got to look perfect because he was just a perfectionist and like he was good at what he did. But he loved me because I, he was the one that gave me the job as well. She was like, I don't know, but she said to my other deputy manager that she didn't think I was ready to be restaurant manager, having done way, I, I had years more experience in hospitality than she did. And she was a general manager. And I'm like, I don't know how you got this job, baby. Well, I do, and I can't say it online because it's illegal. But she got the job in a very, in, in a way that was not legal in the slightest, babes. So it was very interesting, but he loved me. So I was like, I can go, I can go have a conversation with Nav. In fact, I've got him on speed dial. Let me ring him right now. Let's FaceTime him and get him in this meeting and we'll have a conversation. And she, she just walked away and that was it. It's never to be, never to be spoken about again. You have to win all the battles today for my... It's your birthday today, Mama Duck! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Your birthday's today? Why didn't I get a notification? I have your birthday saved in my phone. Huh? Today! Why didn't I get a notification? It's not today, is it? It is today. I'm confused. I'm confused. It, why did my notification not come up on my fucking calendar? Hold on, this has pissed me off. Happy birthday, I love you. Another year together. Oh my goodness, what the fuck? I'm literally looking at my calendar because this is bullshit. I have your birthday saved. I've got it saved for tomorrow. <laughs> it's saved on the 16th. Fuck! Why has it done that? Oh my God. Happy birthday, my love. I love you. Have a lovely day. I hope Bill's spoiling you rotten. I hope Mariah's spoiling you rotten. I hope it's a very relaxing, chill day for you. I love you to pieces. Happy birthday, my queen. Hello, Miss Chris. Hello, Sloth. Hi, Sean. Hi, guys. Sorry, I've just been like ranting about my old job and I've not even looked at the chat. Me and birthdays. Honestly, I say, why have I saved it on the 16th? But I'm the same with Tom. Tom's birthday is the 20... When's my fiance's birthday? When's my soon-to-be husband's birthday? Um, the 28th? <laughs> it's either the 28th or the 27th. And I get it wrong every fucking year. I'm either... A day early or a day late, normally. I can never fucking remember. I'm just so bad at dates. I am. But it also doesn't help that I don't give a fuck about my own birthday. So like, 
birthdays, they just sort of go straight over my head. Unless somebody's like, oh, it's my birthday today, then I'll like treat you like a queen in the moment, you know? But I never remember birthdays. I don't remember nothing, guys. You should know by now, I don't even remember my name half the time. I can't believe I've got it saved in the 16th. That's fucking hilarious. It's been this, it's been in there for years now, Mama Dog. I've had your birthday in my phone for years. And it's still on the wrong day. Somebody remind me after stream today to sort that out. Eh. Let's start with somebody else, because I need somebody who's got some more. Uh Rampant's got a new move, by the way. Rampant finally learned spatial rend. Maybe we should put Rampant in for a little bit and see if we can get some XP on him. I'm just scared because he's level 40 and these guys are quite a high level. My name's Kevin today, honestly. You're pretty good with dates, not math in general, though. See, I'm better with math than I am dates. Took the day off and the sun is shining. It's beautiful here. Lovely. Get them feet up. Get the margaritas out. I know you well enough. I know, you, I know you'll have them margaritas going today, baby. Get that oh, Mama, you, Sean, you know Mama Duck loves tequila as well, don't you? We're a tequila fiend family over here. We all love it. Let's try this new move, shall we? I mean, I'll take it. Wow. It did say it has a high crit ratio. And the XP for that, baby. Let's go. Let's do that again. I love that Rampant's like almost 10 levels lower than these Pokemon we're going against as well, and he's still going first every time. It's great. <laughs> Blame Kevin. Kevin put it on the wrong day. It probably I was probably having a Kevin day. Kevin was probably really at the forefront of my brain that day and was like, hmm, let's get it wrong. Because that'd be fun. <laughs> yes, we are, because tequila is awesome. Get the margaritas out, baby. Get them out. Enjoy. Today is going to be a very long slug for us, training all of our boys and girls up to the right levels so we can try this Pokemon League. We have a long way to go. A long way to go. But I feel like we can do it. We can do it. Uh, oh, shit. I need to get something for my lips. My lips are so dry. I don't know where I put my Vaseline. I need to go get something in a second because they're fucking... I can feel my mouth falling apart as we speak. It's horrible. Horrible, horrible. You had a nice sleep in this morning. Nice, nice. You might nap midstream just saying. You do whatever you want to do, uh, Sloth. You sleep, boy. You want to sleep? Sleep. You do you. I feel like we should give Mama Duck a thousand points for her birthday today. If you haven't been keeping up in Discord, we're doing like, we're giving out, me and Sloth are giving out points now, and I'm going to come up with a lot of rewards and stuff. I still need to have a proper look at it. I didn't have time yesterday. I tried to relax for once in my life. We're going to have a um, rewards program with points in stream. So, yeah, and you ate cake for breakfast because I could, damn it. Oh my god, I love that for you. Cake, cake, cake. You nap for like four hours after therapy today. Was it a hard one today, Chris? Did she get you good? God, getting through here is very hard. really hoping that I just wish I didn't say to myself I wasn't going to use repels because now I'm regretting not using repels. I'm not fighting this bitch again either. No, 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 no. Not after last time when he almost one hit me. Why is it when your mouth is dry and your lips are dry, you feel the need to like lick your lips with your tongue and it just makes it worse? It makes them even more dry. Why do we do that? I don't get it. 
Do, 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 do. How has, has that been annoying everybody? This like mouse cursor just sat there for the last 45 minutes. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize it was there. Oh no. Come on, Rampant. Come on, Rampant, you got this. Uh, not the worst, no, I just slept so bad last night. So did I, Chris. I feel like we're, we're so intertwined sometimes, it freaks me out. I slept awful. When I tell you, like, it feels like somebody's been, like, choking me out. Like, the sides of my neck here, and, like, right on my esophagus. I don't know what's going on, but it's so tender. Like, it feels like somebody's had me out. It's... Survive, 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 survive! Well, well, <laughs> fuck you, Rayquaza, honestly, fuck you, fuck you. Oh. I know, I know you said I'm not allowed to die today. I know, I'm sorry. What a fucking shit show. I thought it was going to use crunch. Also, I had 80 health, but then the level difference, so it's my own fault. I should have just switched to Mama right from the get go. Fuck! Now I have three Pokemon that are strong, one that's on its way, kind of. One that's a fucking child still. And now I'm dead, so now I need to catch something else. Oh my goodness. Uh, what the fuck else am I gonna have now instead? I could get looks right now, to be fair. After this fucking shit show of a time that I've just mm, so annoyed with myself. Fuck my life, bro. Just got that Pokemon to the level that it needed to learn that new move. Ugh. Well, shit. That's what I get, I think. That's honestly right. You need to, sorry, you need to get this EXP show. I don't have time for you to be a baby no more. I need somebody fucking strong in this team. Am I gonna make it through here with four Pokemon? I fucking hope so. I don't even know how long this place is. The level difference in the defense. Oh yeah, I know. I'm just, I just fucked it. That was, that was completely on me. I fully fucked that for sure. Time for a new hot fish. If you would like, my darling, for sure. I don't know what we're gonna get yet. I don't know what, what we come across is what we come across. I think Luxray could be a good shout because we haven't had a electric type just yet. What are we losing by having Palkia? Well, we lost a dragon and a water, but we already have that anyway in the party, so... We have water with wall rain and we have dragon with dragon air, so really we haven't lost any typings, we just lost a strong legendary. So... Another 10 minutes of you on the team. Ooh. I don't know, at least we're catching a Pokémon at a decent level now. That's the only thing I can say, is like... Whatever we decide to get is good. Because we're around this level like 40. We're around Pokemon that are a higher level than the Pokemon that we currently have. So the choices are going to be great. Let's hope I can do these battles without losing anybody else today, though. I'm just going to go and get some Vaseline. I can hear myself stuttering and slurring because of how dry my fucking lips are. Give me two sacks.
fuck me, the weather has just took a side turn. It was so sunny this morning, it's hailing. Like fucking mad. Oh my God. Oh, this feels good. Well, 15 seconds of you. Need to go take a quick shower. No worries, Mama Duck. Uh, right, I need to pay attention. This is weak to ground and psychic. I don't have either. I don't have either. We don't have a ground type Pokemon. We don't have a psychic type Pokemon. We don't have a fucking dark type anymore. We don't have a steel type anymore. We don't have a bug. We've, we're missing so many types. There's so many different things that we could get in this team that might actually help. I hope Rampant doesn't stop by today and, just, and see that I've lost it all. Hi, fam. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad that missed. Oh, my lips feel so much better now. Jesus. That was bad. <laughs> Chris, what a Yu-Gi-Oh duel. You want a Yu-Gi-Oh duel? <clears throat> Excuse me. Do do do. Are you actually okay for a change, Vam? That's nice to hear. It's a little bit different for you. <laughs> How's your body feeling after your fall? I like how Flamethrower actually comes out of Morchester's beak. Not properly, but like kind of. It kind of comes out the beak. Riggs. Chris won the duel versus Sloth. Chris won 250 points. Oh, hey! Let's go, Miss Chris. You better steal all of them Sloth points. Tauros. Bring out the tank for this one. Uh, sitting still hurts, but it's getting better. Well, that's good. I'm glad that it's starting to get a little bit better. Do do do. Training against some of these. Oh my fucking god! Was that not a crit? My lord, that did a lot of damage. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it through this victory road, you know. I'm a little bit weary about it. Go first, please go first, go first. No. Oh. Stop, my fucking god. That never melt ice better come in handy here, thank god. Whew. Can't be losing nobody else today. It's Mama's birthday. It's Mama Duck's birthday. Nobody's, nobody else is dying today. Get these levels on Foggy. We're gonna have so much money by the end of this. 68 grand. Good, because we're gonna need some more fucking potions, I'll tell you that. Antidote, Moltres. I can't even put, I can't even, catch a Pokemon in here right now, we need to make it through first, because I need to put Rampant in the PC, but I'm like, I feel like I'm a good, decent way through Victory Road, and I don't want to have to go all the way back to come all the way through again. I want to just get to the top. Fucking dead Rampant, honestly. Rampant's going to kill me. No idea what's going on, but you're watching anyway. I love that for you. Marie, is that? Why does it look shiny? Is that shiny? Is Marie normally blue? It might be actually because Fluffy's pink, right? That's not shiny, is it? No. No, it's not shiny. It's normal. Okay. Just looked really like neon blue for a reason for some reason then. Keep an eye out for possibilities for the team. If we still had Charizard! Oh my god! If we still had Charizard! Uh... We don't need a Blast Toys, unfortunately, because we have Mama still, but. 
Oh my god, look at how beautiful he looks in here. I don't fight you, sir. I don't fight anybody else that I don't have to fight in here right now. I can come back and do these trainer battles. This, this has to be the way, right? Shiny Marie has pink wool. Okay, I'll keep an eye for that. Fighting games, I understand. Uh, you just keep going to, you know, the other person's out. It doesn't take my brain any power. Fair enough. Uh, imagine if you got to fully train and grow a squirtle as well. That would be amazing, but I don't have the time. I don't have the time to be training anybody for that now. I need to be catching people at decent levels. Is this the way? This better be the way. I love that we're riding Typhlosion up a waterfall. Like, that's just iconic. Something tells me that wasn't the way. Ugh. Alright. Give it a go. Dragon Tamer on Dredge. With a Doduo. Lovely. Get up in the air. Why is my mouth so dry? So I think possibility-wise, from what we've seen in here so far, first of all, we know that there's a Blastoise in here if we lose Mama, which hopefully we don't. We also know that there is a Ivysaur in here. Oh, we can't get the same one twice, actually, can we? So there's no other grass in here I don't think that we could get. Um, I'm trying to think what else. We've come across Luxray, and Luxray, like, it has, like, Thunderfang right out the bat, so that's really good for, like, going against any kind of flying types that we have to deal with, so... Luxray is a possibility of a Pokémon that we could get. Hate this move. Huh? What the fuck just happened? 137 HP that move did? By the skin of my teeth. <laughs> fuck! I'm gonna run out of potions. Oh my lord, we were about to lose Moltres then as well. No, 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 no. See, I'm not here for that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm all good, thank you. That was kind of insane, yeah. I cannot believe we tanked that. I cannot believe we tanked that. That's wild. Endeavor is a normal physical type move. PP5, accuracy 100%. This attack move cuts down the target's HP equal to the user's HP. Oh, wow, okay. So if Endeavor goes first, you know you're dead every time. That's kind of wild, honestly. That's kind of crazy. If they had quick attack, I'd be dead. Honestly, yeah, they would. I, I would. Oh, I don't like that. So anyway, for the sixth member of the party, I'm thinking so maybe Luxray is the only one so far that I've seen that I'm like, yeah, like you could be a very valuable member of the team that we don't currently have. Because we don't have anything like, we don't have anything like Luxray. We haven't had a Thunder Boy the whole time, so... There's a lot of opportunity for water Pokémon in here, I will say. Blastoise, possible for Alligator. Not so much all the other ones that we need. I'm hoping that, like, as we go through each zone of... Victory Road, it becomes... Well, we, we get better things. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I'm so lost. Ekans would be shit, honestly. Even an Arbok. Probably not something I want on the team. Let me do a little fly and then I'm gonna have a look and see what type. So we have grass, poison, water, ice, dragon, fire, and flying in the party currently. But we also have 
a rock type move. We also have... No, that's it now, isn't it? We have a rock type move. So we're missing normal, electric, fighting, poison, ground, psychic bug, rock. Sorry, psychic bug, ghost, dark, steel. We're missing quite a few. Like, a lot, actually. Psychic flying, though. I don't know about Zatsu. We've, I mean, we've got flying with Moltres. I don't... If we're gonna get psychic, I would like maybe like a psychic poison or psych, psychic bug. I don't know. Psychic fighting. I feel like fighting is very much needed. Why is he in the way of this hole? If that's the way out, sir, you need to move. Let me size you up. You're going to become even tougher. You'll meet many Pokemon. What are you doing there? Why can't I go through the hole? Let me through the hole! Uh, Hitmonlee, that is also another possibility. Yes, you're right. So, to be honest, Luxray, Hitmonlee, or Hitmonchan, whichever one it was. I think it was Hitmonchan. I think those two are probably really good contenders. I think Hitmonchan was level like 41, 42 in the grass outside of Sunny Shore City. So, oh my god, really? Never mind, he's burnt. Um, but yeah, so... Hmm. <clears throat> Not the leech seed happening before the burn, that's annoying. Yeah, so there, there's two. So that's a fighting type Pokemon and a, an electric type Pokemon. Does Luxray have any other typing? Is it dark? Is Luxray dark and electric in this, or is it just electric? I feel like it's dark and electric. That's better than just having a singular fighting type. But then again, we could find another fighting type in here that's got a second par uh, pairing part to it, whatever it's called. Typing, second typing to it. And we need, we need to start getting some tanky boys now, though, because like... Even Moltres being the level that it is, it's at least got a decent amount of hit points now. Uh, looks ray type, just electric. Mm. Well, that's annoying. I, I could have sworn it was part dark. Maybe I just thought that because of the way it looks. I need to find my way through this fucking victory road. We'll be okay training in here. It's the trainer battles that scared me. Can't believe I lost Palkia, right? What, within the first hour as well, lost Palkia. Just doesn't feel right. Does not feel right, does not feel good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thing is, if we got the Luxray, Luxray is only weak to ground type moves. Like, he's literally only weak to, like, the earthquakes, the digs, the magnitude. Is that ground, not rock magnitude? He's only weak to those kinds, and he's not weak to anything else. Which is really good, because it means that as long as I'm not going against a ground type Pokemon, then Luxray would be, like, ideal to throw in in bad scenarios against anything. But then the moves, what are we going to teach it, you know? Upgrade, is that for Porygon? Seems to be. We don't want a Cherim, we've already got Venusaur. Yes, yeah, it's to evolve Porygon, it is? Okay. Well, we really need to find a fucking Pokemon Center, because Drunk Master literally has no Ancient Power left, no Flamethrower left. It's only got 
fly and rock smash now. I might have to switch out and put somebody else in first. But we're going against a lot of grass types, so... Foggy, you're almost, you're almost level 30, Foggy. My god. Take a long ass time. Uh, see, I don't want to put Chris in because she's level 40 and I'm not having that same situation happening again against a Rayquaza, so. I think I need to go down there, don't I? Drapion? Drapion just poison? I don't know if he's any good to put on the team. I don't know if he's tanky. I don't know if he's tanky at all, actually. To me, the strongest contender at the minute is Luxray. This guy has three Pokemon. We took on level 49 at the gym, and we were okay, so like, why I've managed to lose Palkia against the same levels, I'll never know. Not paying enough attention, it would seem. Um, Ice... I don't have anything left to go against this with right now. Uh... No flamethrowers, no ancient powers. Ice is two times on grass, but grass is neutral on ice, isn't it? So... Let's try Chris. I literally just said I don't want to put Chris in, but here we are putting Chris in anyway. It's poison... Oh, Drapion's poison dark. Okay, well that's two. That covers two. Poison's only weak to ground and psychic. Dark's weak to fighting and bug. Actually, Dark is... Dark... Psychic doesn't affect Dark. Psychic doesn't affect Dark. But Poison's two times to Psychic, so just... Stop! You're taking the piss! Stop! What the hell is Tree Hammer? I've never seen that before, ever. I'm not losing Chris. She's our Dragonite. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. So Drapion would be... You can't use Psychic against Drapion, then. Even though it's Poison Typing's double affected by it, because it's part Dark, Psychic wouldn't affect it. What is going on, man? Stop! What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? How did Mama just get almost 200 HP one hit by an ice move? With its ability, we just, you're taking, I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. What the hell is going on today? What is going on? Like, I'm sweating. I'm immediately sweating. I cannot believe I've just lost Mama. You, you're actually taking the piss. How, sheer cold, hot bish. Like, I know sheer cold is a strong move, don't get me wrong. But it's an ice type move. And Mama has the ability that helps her against ice type and fire type moves. And she was full health. Real Monday vibes, I know. Hi, Mama, you've just died. I'm so sorry. 
It's Mama Dog's birthday. She asked for me to not kill anybody. And because she said that, I'm now jinxed. And everything's dying. We've got to get out of here. I've got nothing left. Like, we're starting from fucking scratch again with the party. Oh, thank God. <sighs> Sheer cold. I've never known it do that. I've never, ever, ever known it do that. Like, ever, actually. No, that just doesn't make any sense. I can't believe that. The target faints instantly. It's less likely to hit the target if it's used by Pokemon other than ice types. Ice types are immune. Ice types are immune? I don't fucking think so. Oh my god, my, like, my literal babe. Mama's been with us since, like, so long. Look at this team, guys. It's fallen apart. It's literally fallen apart. Mama, you absolute fucking icon. I love you. We got 93,500 experience points with Mama. That's how long we've had her. I could cry. I really could. You were, what? Who the hell am I going to put in in situations now where I need somebody tanky? It's going to have to be Kirsty from now on, but if we go get to fire type, guys, we're fucked. I'm not about to team wipe in here, though. Let me tell you, I'm not about to team wipe. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here so we can go to a Pokemon Center, get rid of Mama and Rampant so we can fucking fill this party with people. Jesus. Mama isn't just pure ice, so... Oh, because, she, because she's part water, that means that she's not immune. That's bullshit, man. That's such a loophole. I don't have an escape rope, no. I, I said I'm not using escape ropes, and I said I'm not using repels in this playthrough, so... It's just gonna be a matter of trying to get out as quick as we can. Or getting us, getting us as far along as we can. But the thing is, there's going to be more trainers, isn't there? I need to go back. Oh my god, this is so stressful! I'm like, actually fuming. Actually, actually fuming. Well, it looks as though we're both going to want Blastoise then, doesn't it, now? We definitely want Blastoise. I feel like it's this way, but I just, I can't fight anymore. I literally can't fight anymore. <laughs> I don't even have an escape rope to break my own rule. <laughs> Can somebody tell me how close we are? Like, are we close to the victory road or not? Like, are we almost there or are we not almost there? Currently, I only have Venusaur, Moltres, which only has Fly and Rock Smash, Typhlosion can't even fight, and Dragonair only has Dragon Moves. Just stay in chat, help me find another one to replace you. Well, I'm hoping we can get that Blastoise, honestly, but does anyone know Dig, because that'll get you out? No, Darkrai knew Dig. Darkrai had it, and then it died, didn't it? There's literally nothing I can do. The only thing I... Oh. The only thing I can do is... Either carry on, because I'm close, or go all the way back. I don't know how far I am from... The end. I also don't know my way back, so... I feel like the further down we go, the better, maybe. No, I'm going back around in a circle now, aren't I? looking up a map i think i think i don't think i'm because today we st we started the stream today and we were right at the beginning so i doubt i really highly doubt that we're like there you know what i mean like we were almost there i really highly doubt it i'm coming back for you i'm coming back for you baby i am i'm gonna come back for you i promise i promise i promise i promise 
but right now oh actually let's test out what will kill it and what won't kill it so when we try and catch it oh, it's gonna use skull bash gonna use skull bash please kill it 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 nope is skull bash gonna one hit me This could be the end of us, guys. This could be the end of us. Oh. Never mind. At least we know one power whip doesn't kill Blastoise. And we can tank the school bash. Bitch. I'm back, I feel much better now. Mama, I've lost two Pokemon in total today already. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You've DM'd the thought, Matt. Oh god, Sloth. That is so fucking difficult to understand for me. My brain could never comprehend. I could never, have, I could never read that. Killing people off again, yeah, I know. We're almost dead, it's crazy. I didn't kill another, we got one, we, somebody used a move that meant that there was nothing I could do, like we were gonna die anyway, but I killed Mama this time. Do you happen to know which floor you're on? I have no idea. I think I've probably gone up like two or three times. Probably two or three times I've gone up. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. It's so fucking terrifying. I hate this. I hate being in this vulnerable position. We did not do eight motherfucking gyms to wipe on Victory Road, okay? It's not happening. Lean back, take a deep breath. Do you know what? <sighs> Here's your deep breath. I'm breaking my rule and I'm using this repel. I don't care. It's only one repel. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight this fucking guy! If I haven't already. I know I need to go left, because I've been going right quite a lot. So I need to go left, back down that way. The stairs that we just came up from, after I went down there, I realized that was... Is it really gonna use Solar Beam on me right now? This bitch has solar beam. Like, it is so crazy some of these fucking Pokemon we're going against right now. Hold your breath till you turn blue. <laughs> Honestly, the stress is real. Right, I put you to sleep, so can you fucking chill and piss off now with your solar beam nonsense? I just want to leave. I just want to get out. I just want. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Cherim, leave me alone. Thank you. I also use repel. So how the fuck are you here right now? Yeah, this is the right way because we've already fought him. <laughs> no, I'm not here visiting cousins either. You can go away. We need to make it back as quickly as fucking possible through the Pokemon Center. Fill this party out again before we can before we try and go this whole fucking journey. So the place you rock climbed down for a minute ago, there was a trainer on a bridge with green hair. If you went against the trainer and crossed the bridge, you would have been out. So I would have been out. So that was the last trainer. Thing is though. If I go against the fire type now, guys, that's it. I don't have... Drunk Master's got nothing left. Like, I don't have any ethers. There's no flamethrowers, no ancient powers. I've only got six flies. Rock Smash does nothing. Ivysaur literally only has grass type moves. Sorry, Venusaur. Foggy can't fight because of his level. And Chris only has dragon type moves. I have one water move, Aqua Tail. But if Chris, is t Chris ain't tanking nothing. What do you think's better? I feel like I've come too far down now.
You got that struggle, I know. Uh, struggle is not something I want to be doing. Uh, fucking using the struggle move. No, thank you. No, sloth. We can't be doing that. Right, somebody... In... I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to go have a wee. Vote in chat. Have a little vote in chat for me. Do you think we should just continue up and try that one last trainer? Or do you think I should just go all the way back down? And just, like, run away from every Pokemon on the way? Get back to the Pokemon Center that way? Or do you think I should just go? Because I don't know what happens when I get out of this cave. Is there another Pokemon Center right there? Or is there going to be a fucking rival battle? Is there going to be other trainers that I need to get past? I don't know. Vote in the chat. I'll be back in a sec. All right, bitches, I'm back. I've taken a breather. I've rolled a cigarette. We're gonna do the last trainer. I see you guys have voted for that. Let's do the last trainer. I need to have faith. Every time this has happened to us, we know exactly what has happened. We lose a couple boys and girls. We manage it. We make do. We move on. We're good to go, you know? If that... If that trainer there with the green hair is the last guy, we just need to be able to defeat him. Even if we pull through with one Pokemon, we just need to defeat him. We just need to beat that one guy. I also feel like I don't need to go all the way around for the waterfall on the second time here because I'm pretty sure these connect. Yeah, they do, so. Let's try get that item as well because I don't know what it could be. Okay, Repel's wore off. Oh, bless you, hot bitch. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. I just panic. I panic too much. I need to I need to relax. That's what I need to do. I panic so much because I'm we've done so well. We've done four fucking runs to get this far. I am not about to lose out on anything now because I need to save those moves because I've only got I've only got three leaf storms left. And we're gonna have to do this trainer. We've done so well. I mean, that'll fucking do. That'll do. Yeah, we've done so well, guys. We're, like, getting this far. Run four. We've actually made it to, to Victory Road and stuff. Like, we're almost at the Elite Four. I just don't want to... I don't want to team wipe. Because we've worked so bloody hard to get here. That's all it is. I think we'll be okay. Base game, there's four TMs in here as well. Okay. So it was up here. This this is the last guy, yeah? Green green hair with the bridge. I wish I had the ability to send my Pokemon to... Um, like the PC from where I am instead of having to go to a Pokemon Center to do it. Might have to do that in another playthrough that we run through. Because... Not being able to, like, put somebody else in the party, even if it's just for, like, a couple of minutes to help us out in a battle, you know? I might have to do something a little bit crazy here as well and just give some TMs to some of the guys that we've got because they don't have any moves. 
Like, because they've run out of everything, I feel like we need to give them something to actually be able to use. Like, who can I give Blizzard to? Like, Drunk Master doesn't have any moves to fucking use. I can't get rid of anything apart from Ancient Power and Flamethrower, though, can I? I could get rid of Ancient Power. Just so I've got a, an Ice-type move, a Flying-type move, and a Fighting-type move, just so that we've got something to go against them with for the time being, and then we'll just have to look at what we can do for changing its moveset a little bit later on. Got a nice type move. We can use it against grass types because we don't have flamethrower. Uh, could give somebody signal beam. So they've got a move as well. Uh, no. We'll be okay. Right, do I have anything here that I can do? PP up. Let's do that on you and give it more on you. Hopefully that gave us, like, one more. Does that give us... Yes, that gave us two Power Whips. Okay, so we have two Power Whips, three Leaf Storms. We have Synthesis and Sleep Powder to help us out. We've got... Blizzard, Fly, Rock Smash. And we have Aqua Tail, Dragon Rush, and Dragon Rage. And then with Typhlosion. We might have to just throw Typhlosion in as a, as a you deal with it kind of thing. You know? You wish she was shiny? So do I, Mama! I wish she was shiny so bad, so you could have had another life. Oh, Thing is, though, I've not even got a bloody revive on me for a shiny, so... He's got three. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Starting with the Waylord. Waylord's pretty tanky, but we are the right type matchup, so we should be okay. Bloody lovely. Bloody lovely. That's a lot of experience points. That's it, Foggy. Keep getting them levels. I might need you in a minute, boy. Gardevoir. So... Psychic, weak to, bug, ghost and dark. I should have taught signal beam. Uh, grass is not weak to psychic. That's there we stay. Hold our ground. Come on, Kirsty, come on, Kirsty, come on, Kirsty. No, 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 no! <sighs> I know it's super effective, but this is the most powerful Pokemon we have right now. more psychic that's it though isn't it <laughs> fuck um i don't know what to do stay asleep stay asleep stay asleep stay asleep just for one more turn stay asleep
Come on, Moltres, tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it, fucking tank it! <laughs> I've had enough! Oh. Oh. Oh, ah. Why are you lifting, Chris? Come on! No, no I don't have time for this! I got really hot in the head. I feel lightheaded. Fuck this bitch! No! Come on, Chris. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tank, 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 tank! Tank! Yeah! Eat shit! The trainer they said! Don't go back to the fucking Pokemon Center they said! Tank it! Tank it! Put it to fucking sleep, Kirsty! I'm so lightheaded. No! Goodbye, Lugia, on the treetops. When you go to sleep, you stay asleep for three turns. Well, she stays asleep, cause the heels fall. Down will fall, Lugia, legendary and all. Oh my god, this is not good. This is really not good. Oh my god. Just kill it, come on. Crit. Just crit, just crit, just crit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Honestly, I really do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gorgeous. Okay. Go to sleep, Lugia. Tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome when you're part of a team. And you missed. And now you've got no moves left to use. Well. Why would you say, imagine Hydro Pump healed in the chat? You have caused this recover to happen. You are the reason it used recover then. 
putting out this negative fucking energy into the world. How dare you? Go to sleep. Stay to sleep. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. What the hell is Lugia even weak against? You're joking. You're joking! Just using everything possible. Okay, what what did more? Again. Suck a bag of dicks. Suck a bag of dicks. Suck a massive, fat, juicy bag of dicks, Lugia. Like the biggest bag of dicks you can find. Yeah, take that. Suck it. I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't know what to do in this situation. What the hell am I supposed to do in this situation? Oh, fuck you. You got time to dance around, have you? Hmm. See, this is where I wish I had looks, Ray. If it uses recover one more time, it's only got five recovers, I know. But the thing is, it keeps using and using and using. There's nothing I can do. How many is it used now? Three. I feel like it's used three. Mama Duck's birthday is not good for Pokemon. Go uh, Pokemon. No, it's not for some reason. Tank it, 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 yeah. I just want it to get all of its recovers gone so it can't use any more. You don't think it has any more now? I think it's only used three though, hasn't it? Yeah, there you go. There's another one. I think that's four. I think it's used four recovers now. I need to get it. I need it to not use any more. I need it to get to get rid of all of its recovers before I switch again. I have a plan. Tank it, 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 tank it. Tank it, tank it, hold, please hold. I need it to use recover. I've got no fucking mega horns left. Well, well, I think it's almost time to say goodbye to Chris now as well, unfortunately. If Chris can go first, there's a strong chance here. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Come on. Don't use anything. Okay. That's its last recover. That's its last recover. Now it's part dragon, right? No, it's not. Okay. So I don't have a plan here. I don't have a plan here. It's over. It's over. It's fucking over. There's literally nothing I can do. That's it. That's it. That's it. Kirsty's got no moves. Kirsty has no fucking moves. And I can't use struggle until both synthesis and 
sleep powder are done. This is not a mistake, all right? How dare you? Oh. Oh my God, I just want to cry. I could just cry. I know, but I want to use it, please. 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 I've got to struggle. I've got to win with struggle. We can do this, Kirsty. I believe in us. We've got leftovers. We've got leftovers. I believe in us. We can do this. We've still got this. What do you mean? What's the next game? This is the game. We've not. We've not lost yet. We've not lost yet. All right. I don't care what any of you say. This is not over till the fat lady sings, and I'm not singing today, bitch. How many of those has it got? That has to be five now. That has to be five. It has to be. That has to be every single recover. Why would this guy have a Lugia as his last Pokemon? This is bullshit. I think I could do this if my own if my own death is a mistake or not. Thank you very much. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, thank God! At least the last sleep powder. Oh. Right. It's just a match. It's just struggle now. This is it. It's a sleep. I don't know what struggle's gonna do in terms of like. How much damage? Probably not a lot at all. I'm just glad that we have leftovers as like something. I can't wait, I can't use struggle. Oh. I forgot that it's hits with recoil. Wow. Wow. This is not how I thought today was going to go, I'm not going to lie. This is not how I thought today was going to go. What a joke. What a joke. Eight fucking gyms. He's not even attacking me now, like, he's literally making me struggle my, my way out of this battle, like, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It all went downhill when we lost Mama. That was it. We lost, we lost Mama and that was it for this playthrough, honestly. We didn't even get to try the Elite Four. I should have gone back to the Pokemon Center. I should have just gone back. I should have just gone back. RIP! RIP! Team wipe. Team fucking wipe. Uh. <laughs> I'm so angry! I'm pay you money? I'm not paying you nothing. Fuck off. Oh. Triggered. Oh. Five stages of regret. I'm very much in um, the stage of fuck that Lugia. F fuck that Lugia. Oh my god, guys. Guys, 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 guys. What can I say? I need to go for a wee. I'm stressed. And then we're starting another one. Because what else are we going to do? Fuck this shit. Be right back.
I'm so upset. I really am. In fact, let's have a little, let's have a look before we start anew. So close, like so close. Let's have a look at all of our beautiful boys and girls that we lost along the way, shall we? <laughs> Fucking hell, there's so many of them. <laughs> oh my god Chris thank you for the 100 bits my lord look at all of these look at some of these the potential a mylotic like oh my god like a tyranitar just the potential of some of these boys that we lost from Mewtwo at level 18. That is embarrassing. MVPs though, guys. The real MVPs of the team. Miss Kirsty Duck and Mama. Like, right from the beginning, near enough, you guys absolutely killed this. So happy, so proud. It's absolutely devastating. It's actually absolutely devastating. How many hot fishes in total? One. Two. Three. Three hot fishes. Three hot fishes in total. Oh, why do you keep killing Pokemon? What have they ever done? Don't make me feel worse than I already feel, all right? This is just crap. Right, let me make a new one. Oh my god. Close the fucking ROM. I'm not even going to save what happened so that that can just disappear. I'm actually so upset, like, with myself. That was not how today was... Today was supposed to be a long-ass grind of Pokemon. Hopefully getting us to a, a point where... Oh, I just want to cry, I just want to cry, I just want to cry, I just want to cry. All right, let's, re let's, let's get this sorted. So, base stats... Types, evolutions, yeah, that's all good. Start a Pokemon, completely random. Uh, da, 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 da. Static Pokemon, completely random. Random, 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 random. Random, rival carry started throughout game. No early wonder god. Uh, wild Pokemon, random. Uh, randomize held items, get rid of bad items. Random, full HM capacity. Jesus. Right, there we go. Randomize save. Fuck me. So oh, crap. I cannot believe that just happened. Full wipe right before. Right before, like... Right before we got to the fucking Pokemon League. Sloth, why does it... I'm always on the wrong... Sloth, take your points back for that evil floop. For some reason it never plays it on this one. It does on this one, though. You might have to do it again. Alright, let's do this. Run count... Five. Badgers. Zero. Fuck me, bro. Fuck me. Uh... I cry. We did so well. So well. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Lugia! Like, if he didn't have a Lugia as the last Pokemon, we'd be okay. But he had a Lugia. Why would he have a Lugia? Right there and then, please. Right from the fucking start, let's get it again. I will complete one of these. I will complete a Nuzlocke if it's the last thing I do. Let's go back to being a girl again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your name's Glammed Up, babes. Oh my god.
his name is gonna be... His name's gonna be Lugia, because Lugia's the fucking rival that wiped our last party and playthrough, so he's gonna be Lugia this time. Let's be a girl and name it Birthday Girl. For what? Call it Mama Duck? I Mama Duck has brought nothing but bad luck today on her birthday, okay? Absolutely not. I can't do... You know, I can't do... Mama Duck, I can't do duck face. I've not got the camera thing anymore. I need to, I need to change those. I need to change them. I can't do fucking duck face anymore. It was breaking my camera, having snap camera attached to it, so I had to get rid of it. I don't know how to do it where it doesn't break it all, honestly. It sucks. Sorry. Apologies. If we don't have Mewtwo as a starter this time, I don't want to play. I don't want to play. Is there... Oh, okay. I thought there was potion or something there. Ask you anything. Rage level. My rage level right now is approximately 4.7 Calvin out of 1. That's what I'd say. Pomo looks trying to enjoy her birthday, literally, and I'm blaming her for everything. I know, I'm sorry. Oh my god, though, like, the stress of that, seriously. What a joke. Like, what a joke. I can't believe we got so close, so close to the Elite Four. So, 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 so close. The closest we've got of any run. Five runs in, and I've still not made it even to the Pokemon League. Not even doing the Pokemon League, not even doing the Elite Four. I haven't made it to that point yet. Triggered. So I'm gonna I'm just happy it's not raining. Normally rains on your birthday. Well, at least the sun's out for you, eh? I was stressed for you, oh my god. The more we do this though, the more the more I'm understanding Pokemon again and like what I need and what I don't need. No more just catching things because they're pretty or because it feels right, like no. I need to build a strong fucking team from the very beginning this time. I need Pokemon that can learn moves. I need Pokemon that can evolve. I don't want Pokemon that are just... Like, I just... I need I need real Pokemon. Like, we started with Bulbasaur and we had a better run because we had a Pokemon that would evolve, that was learning proper moves along the way and such. So I'm hoping we have that ability again. Oh, bless you, Mama Duck. Uh, when's the Elite Four or the end or whatever? So the at the end of Victory Road, that big cave we were just in, Chris, that's Victory Road. When you get to the end of there, you get to like a big building. The big building's got the Elite Four. You do one battle after another without any breaks. So if you lose somebody, that's it, unfortunately. You can't go back. You can't heal. Well, you can with potions and stuff, but you can't like go to the Pokemon Center. You go like one uh, Elite Four, number one, two, three, four, and then you have to go against the champion. And then you've completed the game. Wait. If you don't count the Pokedex and stuff. But yeah, that was what it would have been. After that cave would have been the Elite Four. I was trying to make my way through, but I just couldn't. Victory Road is the worst of it. It's awful. This is why I went for Uxie and um, I needed a chill, relaxing bit of Pokemon or I'd lose everything in uh, speed running it. Yeah, honestly. I should have just gone back to the Pokemon Center. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have gone against that guy. Yeah, so you do eight gyms, Chris in eight different towns then you do the four elite four trainers and then you do the champion and then you're done basically why is it so laggy right let's see what our starters are this time then shall we Chris would love to play. I reckon Chris would really enjoy playing one of the first Pokemons. Like, not these ones, but like... Well, I don't know, maybe you would. But I reckon you'd really enjoy, like Sloth said, like Pokemon Red or Pokemon like Yellow. Like, for the nostalgic purposes. Alright, what are we starting with, bitches? What are we starting with? Tingling! Nope. As Elf? All right, all right. Fortress. All right, let's have a look. So Chingling is psychic. 
Uxie is psychic. Fortress is bug, right? I think. Boratress. Bug and steel. Uh, yeah, it does Sloth. I can't remember which one, though. Uh, I say Fortress. Fortress, name it Sloth. I think we do go for Fortress, honestly. Oxy, uh, sorry, Azelf would be fantastic. It's a legendary and psychic, but again, I need a tank. Let's go with Fortress. We'll, we'll do Fortress. Da, 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 da. Right, where was my... Should we end the run before it's even begun? <laughs> Not fucking self-destruct at level 5. Please, girl, please. That's hilarious. If I accidentally do that, that's fucking so funny. It's got takedown and protect, actually. It's got some good moves. Self-destruct, not so much. And I need to be careful that I don't accidentally press that. Uh... <laughs> Takedown is already huge. It's pretty good, yeah. It's not bad. I don't know what its move sets are going to be like, though, because of that. Also, I chose Fortress, so that means he's chose Chingling, right? Yeah. Psychic against Steel is weak as well, but Psychic against Bug, Bug against Psychic... Okay. We do know the first move getting replaced. Yes, we do. Self-destruct. Or do we keep self-destruct and use Sloth as a ticking time bomb as and when we need? You know? <laughs> we could just... <laughs> we could keep self-destruct in case we go against another fucking Lugia or something crazy like that. And then we could... <laughs> we just use self-destruct. I don't know. I might keep it for a little bit in case. Back up. But we've got Bug and Steel right from the get-go. Like, I think that's pretty decent, to be honest. I think it's not too bad. Like, of all the of all the types that we're obviously gonna, gonna come across along the way, Bug and Steel, not as much. Two moves that I probably needed quite a lot in the last run, honestly. <laughs> oh dear. I'm so sad about Mama and everybody else. I really am. Also, I, I am definitely going to have to name this Fortress Sloth because the fact that it's got self destruct at level 5 is hilarious to me. Absolutely hilarious. Rest in peace, Walrein. West, rest in peace, Venusaur. Rest in peace, Moltres. Rest in... Let's hope we get some better ones this time then, shall we? Let's have a look. So... Fortress. It is a female. Bug and steel type. Happily eats everything. It has sturdy. This Pokemon is protected against one hit KO attacks. Yes, bitch. Fuck yes. Let's go. Right, let's see what we're dealing with in the grass around here then, shall we? Hi. Have I not come across a Pokemon yet? Thank you for the potion. Last one. There we go. What are we dealing with? Pidgeotto. Flying is very strong against Bug. But it's not against Steel. 
<clears throat> can we get a fortress moves in the chat, please? So I can see what the moves are like for fortress and see what level it's going to learn some better things because currently it ain't got too much good stuff. I'll tell you that. I need to go get the secret item as well. I forgot to get that. I need to get the secret item. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> Just told a whole story. God, my throat's killing me. I don't think it's going to get anything to a light level 17. It's not very good, is it? Tox and Black, how do we... How do we... Ah, uh, new run. Yeah, we lost top fish. We started again. We got a fortress this time that has self-destruct at level 5. I love it. Fluffy! So Toxic Spikes, uh, Tackle, Protect, Self-Destruct, Takedown, Bug Bite, is that level 20? No, level 1. Uh -oh. It was the Lugia, yeah, the Lugia fucked us over, so now I've called my, our rival Lugia, because I will beat that Lugia. Even if it isn't a Lugia, we will beat the Lugia, the rival Lugia. I love how he included the hearts for the competition. I know. I'm wondering what um, um something's telling me that I'm gonna need to teach this fortress quite a lot of TMs. I don't know if this is the right choice now. It was the right choice for tankiness. I think we need another Pokemon though that's gonna deal more damage because I don't see this one having very many moves, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, it was the wrong time for that Bastard shot. Pretty much anything else in the trainer would have been a breeze. Honestly, yeah, and then we'd have made it through, and we'd have had, like, Venusaur left, and that would have been it, but that's fine, because we could have just rebuilt a whole new team for the Pokemon League. But, not looking realistic this time, so... Yeah, yeah. Bloody tutorial all the time. I get it. I don't think this is going to learn anything until- I don't think Fortress is going to learn anything until level 17, which is Rapid Spin, and then Roll Out at 20. We've missed all of, like, Bug Bike, Zap Cannon, Toxic Spikes, we've missed all of that because it's already evolved. Not evolved, because it's already past the level, I guess, I don't know. I was really wanted it to have a uh, Heavy Slam, honestly. That would have been a good Steel-type move. Right, antidotes, five of them. Uh, potion. We need Pokeballs. <clears throat> Money spent. Let's go get that free item. Let's go tell our mum that we're leaving town. And then let's see what Pokemon we can catch. Start building this new team. Ugh. Starting right from here literally makes me want to die. It makes me want to die. Starting all the way from back here again. Oh, we were so close. Oh, we got a luxury ball this time. That's quite good. Better than what we've had before. If your character has lived in that town their whole life, why does Barry have to show you around? Do you know what I mean? If this is like our local area, yeah, very true. Fixed. So toxic stress, self self-struck, six, take down at nine, but we already have it. Rapid spin at twelve. 17 is by 20 natural gift. Oh, it doesn't learn roll out then. I've got a different thing up in front. I've got the wrong I've got the wrong gen up in front of me, that's why. I think. 
It is what it is. Okay. We need a better team this time. I say it every time, but evidently... We seem to get, like, a couple Pokemon that are, like, really good. Like, Mama was insane, Venusaur was insane. And then we just get some weak ones. Like, some of the legendaries as well, they're just not worth having. They're really not. Every time we've had... Like, Palkia was great, but literally got one shot. Mewtwo was great, but Wobbuffet killed it. Gruden didn't seem to do very well, honestly. Sound. Thank you. You can DM it, yeah, if you don't mind. Um... Right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we can work with here. She returns! She returns to us! She's coming in this party right now. You better fucking believe it. She returns to us! Is it going to be hard to level it from level 3? Yes. Is it going to learn probably shit moves because of it? Yes. Do I care? No. She returns! Mama is back, baby! Fuck me, I accidentally wiped your Rocket Edition save. Oh no, hot bitch, have you really? Oh fuck. Well, that's not good, is it? Does that mean you gotta start again? Are you sure you've wiped it? Right, Mama, you're coming with us because... And I have the perfect thing for you. A luxury ball. Because you're what? Worth it. Luxurious. Get in that ball, baby. Join the party. It's meant to be. Meant to be! All right, maybe you don't like the luxury ball. All right, bit weird. I think you've only got growl. I don't think you've got any other moves yet. It's quite scary. Premier ball, perhaps? You have powder snow. Uh oh. Okay. Get in the Pokeball. <laughs> so when I say it, Tony says it's fine. Oh god. So you have Encore, Growl, Powder Snow. At least you've got an Ice type move. Mama, get in the Pokeball. We've got a whole fucking team to catch. I can't keep. I can't waste 10 Pokeballs on you. You've got to get inside. Come on. In you go. In you go. In the ball, please. Yeah, I gotta start all over again. You can't in-game save on this one, so I load it and load the same file from the emulator. Let's say if I was the game was coming on, I hit save instead of load. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's so annoying, Hotbush. I'm so sorry that happened. I think I've done that before. <clears throat> Click save over it instead of load it. Mama, get in the fucking Pokeball. Please. <clears throat> please, please, please. You really don't want to get in there, do you? The issue with this is if I run out of Pokeballs, that's it. We've only got Fortress to work with. That's not good. Maybe if I tackle you once... Oh no, it's going to use Takedown, isn't it? Because I'm on cord. I'm an idiot. You're dead. That was my bad. That was stupid. I forgot that I was on cord. Gonna do multiple saves from now on, so I gotta back up if I do that again. Good idea. Good idea. I should probably do that on mine, to be honest. Wow. I'm sorry I'm stubborn sometimes. You are. You are very stubborn. Won't get inside the bloody Pokeball. But at least I know you're down here now, so I can come and get you. 
Ooh, we could go something different. We could go snow run for the ice type. To get a Glalie, but I don't know how a Glalie evolves, honestly. I don't know how to evolve snow run. It might be a trade thing and I don't have it enabled. I do think we go catch a wall rain though, because that was just perfect last time. Sorry, no, we can't cheat our mama. No, I agree. I agree. We can't cheat our mama. We can't. I need to make sure that she is in this party again because quite frankly, Wall Rain was the only Pokemon. Oh. Wall Rain was the only Pokemon that actually did what we needed it to do the whole fucking time. I need another bloody Wii. I've had too many cups of tea today. I'm on like my eighth cup of tea again. All right, I'll be back in a sec. this some weeks to it uh i forgot to say today as as well uh sloth chris hotbish go and look on steam right i haven't bought it i'm not saying you should i'm just saying go and have a look on steam there's a new game called um kebab chefs and I was watching the Yogscast play it yesterday, and oh my fucking god, it is hilarious. It is so badly made, but like in a way that makes you want to play it for the rest of your entire life. It looks so funny. You like you run your own little shop, and you have to like cook meals and stuff, and like sell them, and like grow your shop, and you live in like a little apartment with your friends that you can like do up and stuff. It's so fucking funny, so funny. But I really, 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 really think you should have a look at it. I think I might get it in the future. It looks so, it's so fun. So, so, so fun. A little bit like King of Retail combined with like Playtop kind of vibe, but the graphics on it and all like the, it's just, it's just very poorly made in my opinion, but it's so funny. Slot, you got fucked and lost your 500 points on the slots. Ooh. Oh, they are running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Very, very. Snow Rat level 42 evolves with a Dawnstone on female for Froze Lats, which is Ice and Ghost. Doesn't look tanky, though. I don't think it is tanky. I want, um, I want Wall Rain. I want Wall Rain. If I can catch Wall... It has Dragon Breath at level 2? Huh? Oh my god. That's scary. This is very scary, this being here. I mean, the XP, I'm killing it. I just, I'm not wasting any Pokeballs on a Dialga that I know for a fact is not going to go inside the Pokeball. So I'd rather kill it and get the XP, but I'm scared that I'm going to die.
Dragon Breath at level 2, though. That's kind of wild, isn't it, really? Oh, I'm fucking paralyzed now. Jesus. <clears throat> what experience did I get? 62, is that it? I got more for killing Wall Rain. Fucking hell. I'm glad I bought that paralyzed heal anyway. Come on, where's Wall Rain? Here we go. Night. This is the baby I've been looking for. Oh. Not me creating it by accident. Fuck. Alright, well, we go again. Literally 20 more experience points for, for killing War Rain than Dialga. Like, what? So much more. Ooh! Nose Pass. Rock type. Prevents escape with magnet pull. Great. Not. Oh god. It's gonna take a while. So is Dialga worth having? I mean... Yeah, it wouldn't be easy to catch at all, but in the future, it would be worth having, yeah, for sure, Mama. But when I'm, a, when I'm in a position like we're in now, where like the beginning stages where I've only got a few Pokeballs, Sloth is not allowed to go over level 14 because that's the cap for the, for the first gym. I can't risk having so little Pokemon before we get to the next bit, do you know what I mean? Also, Sloth's not going to learn any moves until like level 12 or something. So, Dialga would be great to have, yeah, but realistically, probably be looking to get somebody else. Probably be looking to get somebody else in, like, b to begin with. Because whilst Dialga's amazing, there's no chance in hell, even at level 2, it's going to get inside a regular-ass Pokeball. I mean, and not unless we get really lucky anyway. Really lucky. We definitely need to catch something though, and I need to catch... I need to catch something quick. Before I start levelling up too much again, because this is the issue we had last time. There might be other things in the grass above, but I really do want Wall Rain. Because it was just so good in the party last time, like, I can't fault it at all. I cannot fault it at all. I need to maybe get to a point with the wall rain where it's, like, got very low HP, so I might have to just use tackle instead of takedown. Totally agree. What about the lake? I don't think you can go in the lake at this part, can you? Or maybe you can? I don't know if we've done it before. We can go have a look in the lake and see what's in that grass. I never even thought to do that, to be honest. Like, can we? Okay, interesting. 
not the Pokemon I'd choose for me, honestly. Carnivine's not really the, a very, like, amazing poke. Well, to me, it's not the greatest. Let's see what else is in here. And then the Lake Spirits come out, imagine. It's looking like just Carnivine at the minute, to be honest. Kind of wish I'd have gone for Azelf instead of Fortress now, because I just realized that obviously it levels slower because it's a legendary, so it would have been easier to keep it at a decent level. A bit doof, really? Not the like actual shit Pokemon being here. No, no, no. No, 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 sir. I've had enough of that, thank you. Fortress evolution is thick? What do you mean? What is it? That's coming with us. That's coming with us. If I don't kill it. Fucking Salamance right from the get-go. You must be crazy. Like, yes. Please don't kill it with takedown. Please don't kill it. Like, tiny bit of HP left. Tiny bit. Alright, that'll do. What moves has it got? Leah? If I tackle it, will it die? Please don't die. I'm too high of a level. Okay, one takedown on the Pokeball, that's what I've got to do. But is this going to be really hard to get with the Pokeball as well? I wonder which one's got the better catch rate, Walrein or Salamence? Surely it's Walrein, right? It can't be Salamence. I don't know! I'm too indecisive. I want them all. But I need some more Pokeballs. Do I have any Pokeballs? It's fixing to stay the lake with the bus, but it might. It looks like it might not, but yeah, I know. Carnivine, Bidoof, no, and then a Salamence randomly appears. There's a lot of Carnivine. So there's probably not too much here for us, but... I mean, if we can get that Salamence, that'd be ideal, really. Oh, um, there's a Bidoof. Not for me. Uh, try tackle weakening instead. Okay. Also, don't forget we can heal at home. Just ask mommy. Oh yeah, we can actually, can't we? So I don't have to go to the place. Good shout. So just try tackling instead. Okay. I wonder if tackle will honestly just do the same because of it being level two. No? Okay. But I just know for a fact the first issue I'm going to run in with, run into with Salamance is that it's not going to learn any moves. I can't do another tackle, it will kill it. Yeah, I can't do another one. It will kill it, for sure. Cute and cuddly but not tanky lol. Uh, I wonder if self-destruct will weaken it. Probably. Probably. Weaken it so much that we have to start the run again, yeah. Ooh. Alright, headbutt's not a bad move for it to have at, like, level 2. Come on, Salamance. Two shakes. It has bite. I'm sorry, but Slothy is so tanky. Every every move against it is like one HP. I think we're gonna run out of Pokeballs before we catch anything. And it's got rage as well. Come on. Uh-oh. 
How many Pokeballs do we got left? Is it worth saving these two for like a Badoom? I know it's shit, but like something that's, we need another Pokemon. We can't have no, we can't have one Pokemon until we get to the next town. Like we literally just can't. Firefang at level one as well, possibly. Thunderfang, it's good. yeah, there are all the possibilities. And so we've got some more Pokeballs, guys. We can't, we can't go for that. Like Slothy's six levels away from being maxed out for the first gym already. I need to, I need to get going. I need to get going. So let's try, let's get a Badu, just because it's in here, and I know it's easy to catch. Don't come back now. We don't want you now. Not interested anymore, sir. You you didn't want to play ball the first time, so why should we play ball with you this time? Go away. Go away. Do 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 do. Sometimes I just wonder how randomized it's randomized. Like, how is it random to find one Salamence in every, like, six and then three in a row? Like, how is that truly random? Especially now I don't want one as well. I'm looking for something else. No, not this thing. Fuck this thing. Is Badu the one that evolves into Roselia? Am I correct in thinking that, or am I not correct in thinking that? I think I am. Oh. Fuck this bitch. Legendary my ass. It's AI generated, it listens and denies me. You'd probably name a Badu Glamour if I did Diamond. Fuck you, Sloth. Fuck you. Ooh! Now a gold duck I can get behind. Again, we don't have the Pokeballs for it right now, but at least we know it's here for when we do have Pokeballs. Gold duck is a pretty decent water type. Where's that fucking Badoo gone? <laughs> the look. <laughs> they na now all of them are coming out to play. They're all coming out to play now. Only issue is, I don't have Pokeballs to catch any of these ones, because they're going to be so much more fucking difficult. I need one that's going to give me a good catch rate. Not this one, though. Anything but this one. You like Gold Suck? Oh! And out! Gold Suck. Mama, if that's what you're into, baby, that's what you're into. Preach. Tell the world. Tell the world of your fantasies of gold suck. <laughs> Where's these fucking Pokemon now? Come on. Suck oh, that gold. Do you know what I mean? Oh. I'm not interested in you, Mr. B Mr. Mr. Bidoof. I'm trying to think realistically this time. Ones that I can actually train, ones that I can actually catch, ones that will do better. Hmm. This could be good. Could I catch an Elekid with two Pokeballs though? That's the question. Doesn't matter, it's dead. Doesn't matter, it's dead. And now we're paralyzed as well, which is not good. All right, let's go see mom. Go see mom, come and heal up. Hey, Jeff, the hedgehogs are cute but worthless in this game. Imagine Sonic, wasn't it? <laughs> not, he wouldn't be as useless as fucking Shaman. Shaman's awful. You guys taught me that. Hello, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Oh, pressed it twice by accident. Chris wants to duel. Chris Sloth wants to duel for 250 points. You can accept or deny within two minutes.
Good old mum. I just want that. I literally laughed at Badoo, and now I've got no Pokeballs. I'm like, please, Badoo. <laughs> please, Badoo, come back. She thinks it's rigged, truth be told. Fair. Oh, I'm actually really hungry today. I made some really nice burgers at like 11 pm last night. <laughs> Like veggie, homemade burgers, vegetarian ones. In fact, I think they were vegan. Vegan. They had like, I made chickpea burgers, chickpea, broccoli, carrots, onions, like all in one. Made my little patties, fried them. So nice. Got some leftover in the fridge, and I keep thinking about it. Um, I don't want to kill it every time in one hit, though. I'm gonna get staticed again. Truth be told, I'm not that smart. Uh, am I a hummus girly? I love hummus. Hummus is life. Hummus is life itself. <clears throat> oh, that Alekid didn't have static. It had a different ability. Why are we lagging so much? Stop lagging out, emulator. Uh, you're a chickpea girly, but not hummus. It's the same thing, sloth. <laughs> Ish. It's just got sesame. Does that mean you're not a fan of sesame, then? Oh, due to never trying and never wanting. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Where is this Badoo? Oh! We have to, guys. We have to. We have to. We have to. Even if it's the only fucking Pokemon I get, we have to. We have to. It's a fucking carp, carp, carp. We need it. Please don't kill it in one. It's level four. It shouldn't kill it in one with a tackle. I can't do another one, can I? I think that's more than half. Uh, let's just fucking risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Why not? Oh, thanks for the stretch, Lauren. You know what sesame looks like? Like sesame seeds, sesame oil, things like that. Period. Who wants to be Magic Carp? Who wants to be Magic Carp? First come, first serve in the chat. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Heartbish the magic car. Hell yeah, we caught it in one ball as well. Oh, it has an item. Stardust. Heartbish, you've just given us the money that we need. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. And you've obviously only got Splash. Swift Swim, boost the Pokemon speed in rain. Right, now we've got one Pokeball left to get a Badoo. I'm just gonna go get a drink. We need, I want this Salamance. Well, fucking Tom's drank all the Pepsi and he's took my can with him to work. So today I'm having the rest of my rosé wine at half four in the afternoon because there's nothing else left in this house to drink. And if I drink any more water, I'll be going to the toilet even more than I already am. No one knows how it has managed to survive. Sounds like you. Is that what it says on it? Okay. So, we still need to find one Badoo, get it down low enough so that I can catch it with one Pokeball. 
little bit of wine. I gotta go back to work this week, so a little bit of wine in the middle of the day never hurt nobody. I'm using the touchpad, I might cry. Are you happy when I do it like that? Thought that was the Porygon? <laughs> Just let James kick you hot, this James. James will help you evolve by booting you in the face. What level does Magic Carp evolve again? Is it 20? Yeah, Gyarados. Level 20 evolves in into Gyarados. Oh, I really want this. But I can't seem to hit it with anything without killing it. I want it to just like, I want it to tank. Excuse me. I want it to tank a tackle just one time, but it's not going to because it's level two and I can't seem to find one at a different level. It's only available at level two here. I've caught my friend James. 15 is tackle. Yes, I've got a job, Mama Duck. I start on Friday. I start, well, I've got my trial shift. Oh, trial shift on Friday. I'm working at a uh, pizzeria that my friend works at. Just on the weekends, just to get a bit of extra cash. Because Lord knows streaming don't pay for your life. My God, not unless you're famous. But yeah. Starting with a little pizzeria, Friday nights, Saturday mornings and Sundays, which means I don't have to, it's not gonna affect the streams at all, which is perfect. Good feedback, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, just a little bit of part-time work to help with the bills and just like help me for when me and Tom, like obviously we're moving out and stuff when we move. It's only like a temporary one, obviously. My friend, I need to talk to her about that to be fair, because I hope she doesn't think I'm staying for a long time. I did mention it, obviously, but couple months there. If I do if I do a couple months, well the, the, like the the rest of this month, all of May, all of June, and all of July, then on the weekends that is, I should walk away with about three grand, I think. Walk away with about three grand in those three months, like saved. I mean, I can just quit. <laughs> Do I get free pizza? Yes, get free pizza. Um, oh, get free pizza at the end of every shift, I think, or something like that. Yeah, it works something along the lines. Free pizza. It's like throwing it back to when I used to manage Be Bella Italia while I was at uni. Uni, I used to do so much fucking shit, it was crazy. But I worked at Bella Italia as one of the managers, and I used to take two whole pizzas home every day for everybody. All my student friends that can't, couldn't afford food. I was the only one that worked, so like I was the only one that had the money for us, and I was the only one that could <laughs> provide the food, bringing pizza home for everybody. But yeah, I hope so. I hope I get loads of unlimited pizza. I would love that. It means on a Saturday. If I do, it means on a Saturday I can start joining Chris. Chris will have all of her homemade pizza on Saturday while we're on Discord evening, and I'll be getting back from work just to start it with pizza. We'll have pizza. Pizza everywhere! because that would be the perk that you want. Honestly, same, yeah, for sure. I really hope I do get pizza, even if it's discounted. Even if it's not free and it's discounted, I'm happy with that. You know? That was be when I moved to where I am now. I didn't tell them that in the beginning, but I was like, I'm not dying. I'm not driving over a bridge every day in two hours, so I'm done for now, yeah, I know. I'm a lazy girl. No, not at all. I'm at the point in my life now where I feel like if I don't want to do the job, I'm not doing the job. You know what I mean? Like, it's life is just not worth stressing yourself out time and time and time again, day after day after day after day. Like, the therapy we've been going through, that, that I've been going through, like, all of the work that I've been doing on myself, taking the time when I need the time, doing things that I enjoy and what I love instead of doing things that stress me out and piss me off. Like, I'm not going, I'm not going to undo all the good work I've just done with myself by going back into something full-time that I know for a fact I don't want. And also, it's like I said, it's a zero-hour contract, so if I say one week I don't want to work, I don't have to work, you know? They can't force me to do any hours that I don't want to do. But again, it's my friend, so I'll be fine. Bringing pizza home for all the broke, starving students and been over there with this subway every day in uni. I know, Mama Duck, you know it. Everybody was so poor. 
like uni was such a horrible experience for all of us, but quite frankly, I'm risking this by the way, quite frankly, all of my friends at uni and stuff, like it was their own fault. They didn't want to work alongside university and I completely understand like they shouldn't have to if they don't want to, but like some of them really needed to and some of them didn't have a lot of cash at all. So there was many a night where like I paid for everyone's student night out. There was many a night where I brought home lots of food for everybody. Like there was people that took care of me as well when I was going through shit with my ex, but yeah, I was, I was definitely a provider and I was absolutely loving the fact that because I was working and nobody else was, I was just like, I'm just gonna have a subway every single day. Mum would look used to see it. Subway every single day. It was fucking lush. I never went hungry. Worked my bloody ass off. Two degrees in one, full-time job as a manager. Dealing with all sorts of shit that I did. I cheerleading and practice twice a week. I had competitions on the weekends. Wild, honestly. Uh, all the job was oh shit! All the job was sitting in my car and I basically just watching a pump. It was good money. I just couldn't be asked to drive there because it's a twelve-hour shit. Yeah, fuck that. Subway's not bad. Subway's amazing. Flat, uh, flat bread or meatballs or yogurt. Nah, 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 nah. Mine was. It's, my subway order has always been the same, with or without ham. So when I like first ever had a subway, I was still eating meat. I think like back in the day when I, my dad took me. Um, but now. I like, what do I have? I have a, a foot long hearty Italian with cheese, extra cheese and all the cheese, lettuce, cucumber, sweet corn, mayonnaise, packet of quavers and a mountain dew baby. Same every single time. It's very plain, it's very white person food, but it does the job, fills me up and it tastes good. Right, we need to move on to this next bit because I've got no Pokeballs. How much does Stardust sell for? Is it 500 or is it 1,500? I hope it's 1,500, otherwise I'm only going to be able to buy two Pokeballs. I also need to train Magic Carp to level 15. But I don't know how I'm going to do that. I had to get Magic Carp because it's like iconic and having a Gyarados in this playthrough might actually help us, but... I don't know what we're going to do. So we only have one Pokemon right now. So that's for a thousand, okay. That's five Pokeballs at the, at the very least. There we go. A thousand, yeah. Your brother got you into Chicken Ranch, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Mum got your man to doing Coke and Hawaiian Punch yesterday. I'm killing the Hawaiian Punch first and I'm thinking I should have done it because I'm way around. Right, let's learn how to catch a Pokeball off this guy. Get the Pokeballs from him as well. That gives us ten more Pokeballs to work with. Couldn't find any more Badoo down there for some reason, so... I guess we'll just have to deal with the fact that we get whatever's here. I'm just gonna have a quick Siggy. Do, do, do. But yeah, I don't think it's really that bad, like... Oh, did I tell you... Have I told you guys about the, the pay difference? I think I might have slightly mentioned it, but I don't think I've actually, like, properly told you about like this job that I've just got, how much I'm being paid compared to my last job. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, isn't 10 Pokeballs what? Yes, you get one Premier Ball for every 10 Pokeballs you buy, but I just bought five, I just bought five slots because that's all I could afford and now I'm getting five off of this guy. Uh, you said you- yeah, I have upped it, yeah, I have upped it. So the craziest thing is, the job that I just had, right? So the one that I left in October, bearing in mind, like I told you, I was supposed to be on like a better salary and blah blah blah, and they never ended up giving any of that to me. The job I now have is three steps down from what I was doing before, and I'm being paid 50 pence more an hour. How fucked is that? Like, it's actually insane. I'm getting paid more to do, three times less. Because my friend knows my fucking worth. Wild. Hospitality really is the business about who you know, not what you know. Okay, we could go for this curlier. This could be a good one to get. If I don't kill it. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's get this. It's got confusion at level 3 already. 
It's a female, so we can evolve it, evolve it into a Gardevoir at some point as well. Oh, don't do that to me. Wow, God. Honestly, it's... it's oh, no! Fuck. It's got teleport. Shit. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Paid more to do way less. It's, it's actually insane. I just don't understand how the world works. I really don't. I don't get it. How can I be treated so badly and paid so shit? And then my friend be like, nah, 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 come and do way less here. Like, I'm obviously still going to work my ass off for her, but like, come and do way less here responsibility-wise. Ooh! Maybe we get this. Are we going to have an all-female team this time? No, but I'm definitely going to try and make sure we get a mixture for sure. Because we can't go against something with a tract again. Bagan's a good one. This is a nice dragon type. Rock type, dragon type, one of the two at this stage. This evolves into that shell gone. Fuck me though, catching these Pokemon's insane. So difficult. Yeah, we tried catching your dad, but, but it was a no. Oh, thank God! Right! Who wants to be big on? First come, first serve. First come, first serve. Your dad didn't want to come with us, so we'll have you as a baby level. And we'll evolve you ourselves. Because why not? Uh, where are we on here? No, this one. Where did you just go? There we go. Mama, you want to be this this time, okay? Boom, done. Let's see what you've got, shall we? Rockhead protects the Pokemon from recoil damage, and you only have rage so far. Interesting. Rage, bite at level 5. Ooh. Bite at level 5, Leer at 10, Headbutt at 16. It's gonna learn Bite though, Bite's gonna be good. I really want one of those Curliers. I really want Curlier. But it's got Teleport, which is a bit of a nuisance, trying to catch it. Oh my god! I'm running away from this, because this is what killed one of our things last time. No, 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 no. Not fucking with that. Not fucking with that, not this early on. Unless I want you to be Wall Rain again. I wanted Wall Rain, but realistically I'm not gonna be able to catch it with the Pokeballs we've got at this stage. Maybe we'll get a Wall Rain later on again, but at this stage, I just need Pokemon that we can rely on that are actually gonna get in the Pokeball when we want them to get in the fucking Pokeball. I need a strong team from the get-go that we can train, that we can evolve, that we can actually teach moves to. And Wall Rain was not looking likely. Same with Dialga. They're like really good Pokemon to have, but from the beginning, I need ones that we can actually work with this time. Ones that are going to learn moves along the way, ones that are going to evolve and get their stats better along the way. You know? <laughs> Mama duck. So in March, apparently I watched your stream for two days and three hours. That's 51 hours. Oh my god. You watched 51 hours of me, Chris? I'm so sorry. That killed you. Yes, it did, Hotbush. It did kill you. Tang growth is not fun. Not fun to go against at all. I really want another Curlia. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center anyway, because I want to get everyone healed up. And then we can train Mama so that she gets Bites. What level was Bite again? Five. Get Mama to level five. Get her to learn Bite. 
Magic Carp, we're not going to be able to do anything with until the second gym because it evolves at level 20. The second gym cap is 22. So we'll, we'll just have Magic Carp in the party for now and we'll level it up when we can. Thing is, Bagon's only got Rage, so whatever we go against, I need to know that we can defeat it with Fortress first. We can probably take on a Finneon. Is Finneon what evolves into Octillery, or am I thinking of something else? No, that's Remoraid, isn't it? What the hell does Finneon evolve into? Lumineon. Oh. <laughs> that's not very good. Luminion, I feel like, is a good... No. No. I mean, it's tanking moves. From a level 8. The fact that that was a crit and it still only did one damage is hilarious. No XP from that. Okay. Please don't teleport. Don't teleport, don't teleport, don't teleport, don't teleport, don't teleport, don't teleport. Don't teleport, please don't teleport. Teleport, don't die, don't teleport, don't die, don't teleport, don't die, don't teleport, don't teleport. Oh, you bitch! Fuck my life. Okay, you need to... I can't risk one move. I can risk just throwing a Pokeball, but then if it doesn't catch it, it's just a waste, isn't it, every time? How long it fucking takes to do this? You're having tang growth PTSD. Although you having teleport at this stage would help, it would because it takes us it takes us right back where we need to go. At the minute we have a bug type, a steel type, a water type, and a dragon type. Skip plume could be good as a grass type. You think? Well, <laughs> well. Maybe not. We did crit though. Now, whilst this is incredible, I cannot get the XP from that. I will level too high. Alakazam. Crazy. I just want a Curlia. If we don't crit this... Uh, if we don't crit the... Skip Plume this time. I'm having it. We should definitely get a fight in type this time, Chris, yeah. That's already on my list of things to do. For sure. Not having one last time was just awful, honestly. Like, it was- it sucked not having one at all. But like I said, this time I'm not focusing so much on like, oh, it's a legendary, oh, this one's cute, this one's that. I need versatility in the team. I think when Skip Plume evolves into Jump Up, it can learn flying type moves. Oh, you bitch. Oh, it's got Synthesis already? Yo, wait a second. That could be so good to have from the get go. It can heal itself in battle. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh my god, we waited for Venusaur to be like level 45 before it learned that. Yeah, I want the skip plume, I really want it. A 
Okay, who wants to be Skip Plume? Who wants to be the beautiful little Skip Plume? First come, first served. Skip Plume. Alright, who was in this position down here? It was Chris, wasn't it? Chris, you want to be Skip Plume? Funnily enough, the position in which Skip Plume's going on the, like, right down here, that's where your character was anyway. Yeah, grass and flying type. Okay. Yes. We'll call it Chris Bloom. Chris Bloom. What a beautiful little name. We have one female and three males. You have an item. Oh. Chris, you had a TM? Yo, wait. We could give Magic Cock takedown so it's got a move so we can actually level it up. And you've got Leaf Guard, prevents status problems in sunny weather, splash, synthesis, tackle, and tail up. So you've got tackle and synthesis. You'll probably learn absorb or something at like level five. Oh my god, you had a fucking TM? Like, yes, bitch. Oh my god. No, go away. The fact that you were carrying a TM is fucking so good for us right now. And I can give it Magic Cart. I can give it Hot Fish. So she's actually got a move and she can fight in battle. Oh my god, let's do this. Right, okay, so. Let me heal first. Or, mm, is that the smart thing to do though? Or do I give takedown to Bagon? Because Bagon has an ability that means that it doesn't take recoil damage, and takedown gives recoil damage. So, yes, we could give it Magic Cart, but realistically, t uh, it might be. Magic Cart might make, take too much damage, and then it might be better just to give it Bagon, because he literally can't take any damage from recoil hits. I feel like that was a sign to give it to Mama. Protected from one-hit KOs, boosts the Pokemon speed in rain, protects Pokemon from recoil damage, prevents status problems in sunny weather. Chris has attacks we can work with. Mama's rage is awful. Hotfish only has a splash for now. And slotty has got his moves. I think we should give it Mama. Yeah, do you know what I mean? You kill yourself with recoil. I want I want a Gyarados, so I don't want to risk losing Magic Carp at any level we don't have to. So let's give this to Mama because she's not going to take any recoil damage from using takedown. Um, let's, because of that, let's put you in. Let's get you guys some levels. Let me do a save as well, I haven't done a save yet. As much as I would like it, I'll definitely kill myself, 100%. I also have a feeling that takedown recoil will just do more damage on Magic Cart because of how shit it is as a Pokemon at this stage. Plus it's level four. All we need to do is get past that first gym without losing Magic Cart, and then we can train Magic Cart to level 20 and evolve it. And then we can have a Gyarados in the team. Right, you're coming with me this time. It has Trace. gonna teleport isn't it no so the, the curlers are looking like they have double team confusion teleport growl confusion double team teleport what else have we seen it use oh i know it's gonna teleport so let's just try it Come and be a part of the team. Oh. He's a ground type boy, isn't he? 
And his ability is to whip up a sand stream. Hippopotus, ground type Pokemon. It has a pretty strong attack, honestly, and defense, like physical wise. So it's weak to special type moves. We didn't have a ground type in the last one, so he's a ground. He is a tanky boy. Okay. We have a really weird team so far. I'm kind of living for it. I'm not gonna lie. I am really living for this like weird team. Uh, if tackle doesn't kill it, then maybe we'll try and catch it. All right. The only annoying thing about it is going to be Sandstream, like if I ever have it out first. Dealing with it. Dealing with every- Oh, wait, Slothy! Sloth is a Steel and Bug type, but for some reason, the Sandstorm doesn't tick damage on it. We got it. Oh my god, alright. Who wants to be the Hippo? Who wants to be the cute little Hippo? Who wants to be this boy? So he's a ground type. Yes, Rampant, we wiped on Victory Road to Alugia. Yeah, we did. Literally, Victory Road, last trainer in Victory Road, and we wiped to Alugia. I know, it's shit. See you later, Mama Dog. Have a lovely birthday. Oh, gosh. Right, yeah. I knew Rampant would come and be like, what the fuck? Yeah, we wiped. You'll have to watch it back on the VOD. It was it was so stressful. I was literally screaming. Um, who have I got in chat that I haven't named one after yet? I've got a hot bish. I've got a sloth. I've got a quick... Let's do... Seeing as though you're here. Rampant, you can be our hippopotamus. Oh, gosh. You have an item as well. Charcoal. Is that fire up fire type moves or something? Yeah. Let's see what you are saying in terms of everything. Sand stream, sand attack and tackle for now. Um, let's go heal and let's do this trainer battle now. We've got plenty of Pokemon. It's been a stressful day, Rampant. I'm on the wine at five o'clock. <laughs> Just got back from school and find out you killed absolutely everybody. Yeah. Yeah. We did. Not good, I know. God, Mama's takedown really does not, like, do a lot. Like, it, it always misses for some reason. Uh, my job on the team at the minute is easy, just sit there and flop. That's exactly what you're doing, and I live for it. <laughs> Feeling a bit like a zombie stage bonus, but okay, good. If I can kill this skip plume without using synthesis so many times, then Mama will get a level, I reckon. But the fact that we keep missing with takedown is really shit. Ooh. Don't like that. This is a very weird team. Definitely the weirdest. Oh, also rampant. In the first bit of grass, there was a wall rain again, and there was a Dialga. But obviously, we're not going for those because if we do, 
we'll waste all of our Pokeballs again. I'm trying to build a team this time of ones that still can evolve, that can still learn moves along the way, like, you know. There we go, Mama's level 3. Sloth's level 9. We need to go back to the Pokemon Center and then come and do these trainers now with Sloth, otherwise... We're gonna have a level before the fucking gym. Lots of the tank now, yeah. Oh, there was also, yeah, there was a Salamance in the grass. There was a Gold Duck. There was a Shaman again. Again, we don't want Shaman. Awful, but there was a Shaman. We've gone for the tanks and different different ones this time. There was a Salamance that didn't want to join our team, but we got the Bagon, so... I'm happy with that. But yeah, we team wiped to a fucking Lugia. Honestly, never been so triggered in all my life. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, let's put... Let's stay like this, and then we can switch out into Slothy if we need to. Let's see what Pokemon this guy's got. First trainer battle of the new Nuzlocke. And youngster Tristan is pulling out his Froslass. This is what I need to do, isn't it? I need to switch already because it will kill me if it has a nice move. Also, our Froze Last, which is our starter Pokemon, has um, self destruct right from the get go. So, Slothy is the ticking time bomb if we need him to be. Oh, wait. It's part ghost. We don't have anything to fight this with. We don't have a single move to fight this with, guys. What the hell are we going to do? None of our moves will affect because it's part ghost. It's part ghost, so nothing, like literally we don't have a single move that can go against it. How the hell? That won't work either, will it? What the hell am I supposed to do now? That's not fair. This is a ghost type right at the fucking start when no one's going to have any moves that aren't normal. Hippo do sand? Oh yeah, good shout. That's a good shout, Sloth. Fuck, I forgot about that. But this is gonna take a long time, isn't it? Oh. Uh. Is that really how we're going to have to do this? This is going to take forever. This is going to take forever. And I'm going to have to switch between every Pokemon. Fuck! This is the first trainer battle, Hotbish, and I don't have a single move that's not a normal type move, which means Froze Lass cannot be hit by any of my fucking shit. And the only way we can get... Oh my god, it's got an ice-type move. It has got ice. I have Synthesis. 
It's not gonna one shot me, is it? Come on, don't, 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 don't. I tried my fucking hardest to make sure that we were gonna have enough. Enough Pokemon, enough moves. I should have waited until we learned Bite, shouldn't I? Like, I just, oh my god. Yeah, honestly, GG. Run, run, run five is over, I think, guys. Like, the thing is as well, there's not even a chance of, like, a normal type move possibly hitting. I don't even, I think self-destruct wouldn't do anything either because it just wouldn't affect it, so. Uh, yeah, of course the first fucking guy has something we can't go against. Like, this sandstorm is, is taking so long. And I didn't think about the sandstorm running out as well, which means that the hippo, if we have to put the hippo back in again and he does a move that like hits us, then that's it. It's over. The hippo's dead as well. We've already lost Chris. At least Slothy can tank. And Sloth doesn't get hit by it either. There's a possibility we can still do it. I hope. We should get some serious fucking XP for it because of how long it's going to take as a battle. Does anybody know how many turns the Sandstorm actually goes for? Yeah, you needed to swap in Sloth the moment Hippo came out if you wanted to win install the turns. Yeah, I know. At least I can get one more Sandstorm off. Like, one more time. I can get the Sandstorm to go. So if the Sandstorm takes this half health, which, it, which I think it is now. If I put the Hippo in again, then it should last long enough to take it the whole way as well. It lasts five turns. That's it now then, right? Sandstorm, this is the last Sandstorm, I think. So it's taken it more than half. And as soon as the Sandstorm's over, I need to put the Hippo back in again. So we can do it. I didn't need to lose Chris the way I did, though. That was stupid of me. It's lasted more than five turns. Or is it a permanent in Diamond? I forget. It might be permanent, actually. Because it's lasted way more than five. It's lasted more than five. I thought it was five, but it might be more. Is it different if you use Sandstorm or if it's the ability? Because obviously it's the ability, isn't it? Which is different. I mean, it's not going anywhere, so it must be the ability more than anything else. Maybe the move only lasts for a certain amount of turns when it's when it's when it's cast by an ability. Maybe it lasts longer. It's likely permanent in diamonds. Well, we've at least that's at least I don't have to lose the hippo now then. Yeah, I don't have to lose the hippo. I've got no fucking protects left, so Oh my god. Chris, I'm so sorry I lost you already. I will I will find you another beautiful grass type that looks like skip plume, I promise. Sounds like a mistake, no. It is not my fault that we're against something that at this level cannot be beaten by anything that has a normal type move. Like at this level, if Bagon had um bites and it had the dark type move, we would have had a chance of at least doing some damage on it, but there's no promise that Bite would have done anything, honestly. It's a ghost, so Dark would have been double on it, but I just, at level three, well, level five it would have been. Yeah, we should have just leveled Bagon. It's my own fault. I should have leveled Bagon. It will last for five turns if created using Sand Stream onwards, or Sandstorm, or eight if created while holding a smooth rock. Well, none of those things, I have none of those things, but Sandstorm is still going on. So it's, it must be permanent in this one. 
The way that we're winning from Sunstorm is crazy to me. Like, fuck me, this is so many turns. We should get loads of XP for this, no? Because of how long it's taken us to defeat it in battle. So it's permanent in any Gen 6 or lower. Okay. Sloth. Sloth, I swear to God, I will ban you from the stream. Model, super model, not bitch. Froze last is not using recover. Don't ever put that energy out there. Don't ever put that energy out there right now. No, no, no. It would have used it by now anyway. Imagine it did. Oh my god. Imagine it did. I'd literally, that'd be it. Stream would be done. I'd turn the PC off. I'd never come back. I'd be done. All right. Two more turns, I think. Yes, one more. One more, baby. We could do this. Oh my god, come on. Take it away, take it away, take it away, take it away. Oh, thank god. Thank god it's over. My god. My god, my god, my god. Already. Let's skip plume. Sorry, Skip Plume. Sorry, Miss Chris. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, God. It's so triggering. I'm triggering. I'm triggering myself and all of you. I really want one of these. Will you just come and be a part of our fucking team, please? Or die. That's fine. Or die. Yes! We have bites! Thank god. No more worrying about normal type moves. Jesus. Stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. So. Maybe I can catch Curlier with bites. As long as bite doesn't kill it, it might make it flinch. Really lucky you caught the uh, hip and uh, the hippo just a moment ago. I know. I'm really lucky that Sloth actually told me that that would do something. I literally would have given up then and just let them all die. I completely forgot that it had Sandstream and it would have ticked damage on it. So if Sloth hadn't have said that, that'd have been it. Oh, sorry, Miss Chris. First one in, first one out. Bye. Miss Chris Bloom, I'm so sorry. I really wanted that as well. But again, my rules are I can't have the same Pokemon more than once, so... Hopefully we find something similar. Like another nice Grass-type Pokemon. Ben, can you be part of our team, please? Curlia. No, Sean. Nah, Sean, thank you. Honestly. Belossum, I know, Chris. Belossum's a cute one. Belossum is super cute, and she's actually pretty, t like, pretty strong, from what I remember. Fucking hell, that is seven damage. Do do do. Should be some more right XP that as well. Yes. Noise. Ah, oh, the team of four. The team of four. We have to do this next fucking bitch now, don't we? So, here we go. Spoon boy. Spoon boy! What's Natalie got? Glithgore. You're taking the fucking piss, man. How are you going first? Of course.
Who's gonna kill Gliscor? It's gotta be Sloth. You so low to Pokemon tournament using Velocity somehow. It's not the best, but it's certainly not bad. No, it's not bad at all. Thank you. Poison jab somebody else, bitch. No, don't start that. I'm not tanky. I'm not fighting you like that, bitch. Just die. Die. Thank you. I forget that poison doesn't affect sloth. That would be something good to remember. Crobat. Eat that shit, bitch. Eat it. Oh, wow. That's a lot of XP. Fucking 48 pound for women, it's crazy. Um... So glad I bought loads of antidotes. Run out of potions already. Oh, we've got to do this guy now. I forgot, and I've got no potions. He's only got one Pokemon, hasn't he? Who is this bat girl? Barbara Gordon. Barbara Gordon. He's only got one. Mantine. Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose? I don't know. Has Ruby Rose been Batgirl? That seems wrong. Why are we getting so much experience from this? Scary. The fucking gym caps level 14. Stop! <laughs> I've got other trainers to do yet. You're like, wow. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. There's an item down here on the left that we need to get. And then we need to train the boys and the girls a little bit more. Replace Miss Chris as well. I really wanted that Curlia. It's just not realistic right now. Ain't got enough Pokeballs. Ain't got enough Pokeballs. No potions. We have a charcoal. We have three Pokeballs left. And we've got 200 quid to our name. Wow. Not good. Not good. Um, let's put Mama in. Get Mama some levels. Get this item. An awakening. Not what I wanted, but let's see what's in this grass. That took so long. Oh, she is the latest, really? Ooh, don't know about that. Don't know how I feel about Miss Ruby Rose. Oh. Miss Ruby Rose is good for like your, I don't know. I guess powerful women roles, yeah, maybe. Batgirl? Hmm. I don't know though. Right, we'll get Mom at the level 10. That's when she learns what? Leah or something? We'll get Hippo Boy. What's the move set on the hippos? Oh. No, baby. What's the uh, hippos move set saying? 
Does it learn anything good before level 14 or not? Oh, here's Miss Chris that I can't get again. Sucks ass. I really wanted her. Yeah, she is it. Was weird at first, but seems to do okay in the role. I just can't imagine. I don't know. I don't think I can imagine Ruby Rose. I only see. I only see Ruby Rose in Orange Is the New Black as like a prisoner. You know, I don't see her as the crime fighter. I see her as like the villain. I feel like she plays some really good villain roles. Also, nobody. Maybe she, no. I was gonna say maybe she could be Catwoman. Not Catwoman. Yeah, Catwoman. What, who was it? That Michelle Pfeiffer? Who did Michelle Pfeiffer play? Whatever that one was. I mean, something's telling me to get this Pokemon, but I just don't see us being able to do it with three Pokeballs, so... It's too risky. There's not a lot of variety in this grass. All seems to be the same. All seems to be rather similar. Could grab Igly Buff because she has Sing, but very weak. So, would definitely end up dying along the way at some point. Don't know by what, but by something for sure. Do 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 So rampant, if you're still here. Why is it that um Fortress isn't hit by Sandstorm? Cause like it's a bug type and a steel type, it's not a ground type, so why is it that it doesn't get ticked by the sandstorm? It hasn't got an ability to stop it from being ticked, so I don't understand why it is that that happens. He's steel. Oh, steel types. So steel types don't get affected by sandstorm either. Interesting. I didn't know that about steel types. Steel and rock types are immune to sandstorm. Okay. I mean, Wigglytuff is good though. Wigglytuff is like tanky. I wouldn't say good. Wigglytuff is good at tanking things, Mama, yeah, for sure, but getting a Iggly buff all the way up to Wigglytuff, that's going to take a lot of graft, like a lot of graft, as well as ground. So ground, steel, and rock aren't affected by sandstorm. That's a good bit of information, so like, yeah. Okie dokie. Right, well, there doesn't seem to be much in this grass here. Let's do another heal. Remember last time we went straight up to the grass that's up there, didn't we? And we had a look in there and there was better options for us at like a level five. They were a little bit stronger. I need to get some more Pokeballs though. That's the only issue. I really need some more Pokeballs. We've only got three. And to be able to do that, I need some money. We can go and get the item from the top. Okay, hold on. Get this. Metal coats? Mm, do we want metal coat? Are we really gonna go for like a Steelix or something? I don't know. Ah, what the hell am I gonna fight against this with? Because I don't have... It's Bagon Dragon or Steel? I can't remember. Is it just Dragon? Dragon type. Okay, so he can take the fire, right? He can take a fire hit. If it's got fire, that is. Is one more gonna kill it? Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Just a tiny bit of health left. Yes. It has got ember. So you're strong against the fire. I feel like Bullpix is going to be a good fire type one to start with. Let's go. Chris be like, look at my butt ass Bullpix. Bullpix, yum. Chris can be Bullpix because I killed Skip Plume so early on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
And then it evolves into beautiful little nine tails. How does it evolve into nine tails again? Firestone. As soon as it has a firestone. As soon as it has a firestone. See if we can find a firestone along the way then. Honestly, what a beautiful boy. What, what a beautiful girl. Boy, sorry, it is a boy. Chris, where's your K? K, R, I, Chris Picks. Chris Picks. Chris Picks. Ball Picks, Chris Picks. Please tell me you've got another cool item. You have got an item. X special. You have one HP left. That's crazy. Flash fire powers up fire type moves if hit by a fire move. It has ember and tail whip. Gorgeous. So we've got fire covered. We've got fire. What we got? Bug, steel, dragon, ground, water, fire. So we do need another grass, like a grass. Grass flying, perhaps? So Skipling would have been perfect, honestly. But yeah, we could do it like a grass flying. I was saying the same as I did about Crispix. Crispix! <laughs> it's cute. Little Crispix. Crispix, here we go. Both things are completely immune to fire moves as well. Oh, is that what it is? Ooh. Flash fire. Powers up fire type moves if hit by a fire move. Ah, that's beautiful. I love that for us. Okay. So we caught Vulpix. It only took one Pokeball, actually, didn't it? So we've still got two Pokeballs. Yeah, we can go and get another one. Well, something else. Let's see what else is in this. Oh, I can't do that bit yet, can I? Because he's going to tell me off. Let's see what else is in this grass. See if there's anything else grass type wise that we can get or a flying type. Oh, it might just be bull picks here, honestly. Flash fire is the ability that makes heat run really good. Ah! Because it doesn't, it doesn't, they can use fire type moves, but instead of, it doesn't hit us at all, does it? We take no damage from it, but it just powers the power fire type move. So even if we were going against a fire type, it, as long as it doesn't have the same effect that we, ability that we have. Yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, that's really good. Period. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This one seems tankier than the one that we've got. Instead of dealing damage, you gain extra fire damage. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, like, if, if something used Ember on Vulpix, it would power us up. We'd take no damage. And then the next fire type move that we use would be way more powered up. It's pretty fucking good, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Pretty decent. Do, do. Let's put. Let's get Rampant's levels a little bit now, now that Mama's burnt. I can't put Vulpix. I can't put Chris against another Vulpix because it'll have the same ability and it's only got Ember at the minute. I mean. I mean. I wish it was a Nidoran. If it was a Nidoran, I might actually go for it because this is such a good Pokemon, but at level five, it's probably missed out on all of its good moves by now, hasn't it? Like Mega Kick, Mega Punch, whatever it might be. Oh my God. Well. It's gonna have Poison Sting, I, rec I reckon. Poison Sting. Growl, probably. Oh! Okay, well it does have double kick then. Is this worth having in our party though? Judging by the rest of the stuff in our party already, is this guy, is this girl worth it? Or not? So we can catch it. What do we think, gang? Can always throw a ball and see what happens. 
Who knows? We've only got two balls left anyway, so... If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It's not meant to be. It is not meant to be. I get some fucking good XP from it, though. Do, 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 do. We do need a grass type. What other kind of Pokemon are grass type and flying type in one? Like grass flying? Skiploom was Skiploom was the perfect one for us, to be completely honest, but she died because I'm stupid. Now it sounds good right now. Smash. Smash. Ba -dum 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 -ba -dum -dum. Oh, Chris, you should Google your Pokemon, by the way. You should Google Vulpix. It's a fire-type fox Pokemon, right? Have a look at what the Alolan version looks like. There's a different version of it where it's, like, basically the opposite of what it is now. Um, in the newer Pokemons. It's so cute. You'd love it. All right, let's... Let's get Chris up some levels as well down here because she she's going to be pretty good for us when it comes to fighting against stuff that's weak to fire. Ah, she's back. The white one, yeah. So the one that we've got in this version now of you is a fire type. The one, the white one is an ice type. And obviously, you know what Ninetales looks like, the one that evolves into. It evolves into, like, uh, the one we've got now evolves into that, like, golden, sort of, golden Labrador-looking one. With, like, the millions of tails. And then the Alolan one is, like, pure white. It looks insane. It's so pretty. We have one ball left. And this Curly is gonna get hit by Burn. And be pretty weak. I'm wondering if we can catch it. Fingers crossed! Who wants to be curlier? Oh my god, I'm so proud. I can't believe we just did that. I said I wanted a grass type, but I really want curlier. I wanted curlier from time ago, so... Uh... Beautiful. It's a pretty good team. Alolan Ninetales is fairy and ice, really. I didn't know it was fairy as well. Right, I'm living for a wee, because I'm me and I need to go all the time. If you want curlier, just say me in the chat. Community wants to be. Pokemon community wants to be curlier? Absolutely not. No. Uh, who has been in the chat today that we haven't... Who has been in the chat that hasn't had a name today? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Let me have a little look, 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 look. I don't know if Sean's still here. No, I don't know, Chris. We'll make it... Sh Sean can be this. Sean boy. It is the boy type curlier as well, so it will turn into a Gallade. Uh, uh, evolves into Gardevoir if male or female, starting at level 30. Or if it's male, Gallade can it can go into a Gallade with a Dawnstone. So it depends if we find the Dawnstone in time, but I don't know. Because uh, everything's randomized, so I doubt it. Uh, we have, it has synchronized passes on a burn, poison, or paralysis to the foe. It's got Teleport, Confusion, Double Team, and Growl. 
perfect for us. We teleport back to the Pokemon Center so we can heal. OG Mama should be here. OG Mama doesn't give a shit, trust. Every time we've done a Nuzlocke, OG Mama doesn't care about the Nuzlocke. When we used to do them time, like, ages and ages ago, I used to make a Pokemon and she's like, every time you put me as one, they die, so don't bother. Teleport's good. Teleport's good for us in this position, yeah, because it means that every time we're struggling for... If we haven't got any antidotes, if we haven't got any potions, like we don't at the minute, we can just teleport back and we'll be fine. Let's go move on now. Let's do this. And get the... Get this done, get the coupons done, and then we'll go and train in the grass that's a little bit higher to the right-hand side, because that'll be better for us. Fairly sure you can still evolve it into a Gardevoir regardless of gender, but Glady Strictly Male, I think. Yeah, Rampant. So it says that you can... At level 30, Curlia evolves into Gardevoir, regardless of male or female, at level 30. But if you find a Dawnstone before it reaches level 30, you can use the Dawnstone on it to make it a Glade, as long as it's male, which it is. So we actually have the choice between what we want with as. We can have a Gardevoir or a Glade. I guess it depends what we need at the time, to be honest. We've got to get there first. We have a full party of six already, though. This is a lot better than uh, we have done before. Having an actual party of six at this point, instead of like working off of two or three and then hopefully training and stuff. If we get them all to level 10, we'll be able to do the gym no stress at all. Uh, I just want to be a thick fortress. Do, 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 do. Gar is a thirst trap, just saying, who's Gar? Gary or Gallade or, oh. Go remind me like next century, thank you. I don't care fucking constantly. My AV my antivirus system at the minute, it's been every single time I turn the PC on, it's like it needs to update. And I'm like, I've done the update. I've done the update. I've done the restart. I've done everything. I know for a fact I've done everything because on Saturday my fucking PC took like 45 minutes to restart. It was a joke. And it keeps telling me I need to reset it again. I'm like, no, fuck off. Oh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir is a thirst trap. She's very pretty. So is Gallade. Very pretty, very handsome, very nice. Indeed. Right, I've got you fucking coupons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, let's go train. Let's go train. So we don't know what... The grass is going to be like over here. Oh. I forgot about him. I forgot. We've been on. We've been. We've got to eight badges last time. I completely forgot about this dickhead. Oh, God. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris Fix. Get a burn off on it. I forgot to tell you all that I got a super bad sunburn on Saturday. I look like a tomato. Oh no! Were you not wearing sun cream? Where was your sun cream? Shit, man. Oh, fuck this. Like, right, right out the gate today, this is going to happen again. I literally I can't do anything, can I? I don't know what to do, guys! Is it gonna keep using Ember? Like, does it have Ember now, constantly? I need to know. No, use Confusion, though. I 
I literally don't know what to do. I might have to loot. Sloth, you might have to die here, my friend. Oh no, about 40 minutes and then I have to love you and leave you for today. Got board games night. Oh, lovely hot beer. She knew you were short lived. I know, but I don't want you to die. I just don't know how to defeat this fucking Mime Junior. That's the only thing. It used copycat from Bullpix. So it used Ember on me and then burnt me. I'm just hoping that it doesn't do anything crazy, crazy, crazy against me now. If it used copycat, it copies the last move used. Yeah, it copied Ember, but now, does that mean that Mr. Mime can now use Ember instead of copycat for this entire battle? Because if so, that's not good for, for me. Okay, use barrier. Never mind. Come on, Rampant. You're joking. Only the last move used, so we can copy tackle now and that's it. It does have confusion though. I'm gonna sand attack the shit out of this. I don't have fortress now, which is the worst thing. Like, I can't use it. Let's just hope that was enough to stop it from hopefully it misses because it's got it's been sand attacked twice miss 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 oh thank it Mime Jr. is a little bastard, honestly. He's a little fucking bastard. Thank it, please tank it. Crit, 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 crit. And now I'm gonna die from Sandstorm. I think. Oh, thank God. I just need you to tank one hit rampant. Just one. Just one hit. Tank one hit. Is it going to use Bite? It missed. The burn cuts the damage in half and it's used barrier multiple times to so self-destruct is a bit risky. Yeah, I don't, I don't want it. Self-destruct is my absolute last resort. Like my last, 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 last resort. I don't want to have to use it, but if I do just to keep the whole party here and not team wipe, then... I'll do what's needed. Right, Chingling. What? Somebody give me some, like... Chingling is a Psychic type. I know it is. It's just Psychic. It's gonna have moves... Like... Rap... Astonish. It's gonna have Confusion, possibly. 
Like, who should I put out to defeat Chingling now? Because mama has got nothing left in her. Sloth literally on his last legs. What's fire like against Psychic? It's just neutral, isn't it? But it's going to be a really high level. We're a bit fucked here, I'm not going to lie. We are a bit fucked here, to be honest. Um, why is this part of my camera just gone, like, really bright all of a sudden? Um... I don't know whether I should keep ramping in and just deal with the fact that Tackle might not do a lot of damage, or... Rap, Growl, it might have Astonish. Oh god, I don't fucking know, this is a lot. Um... Come on, Chris. I'm, I'm, I'm putting everything into you right now, Chris. I need you to provide, like when you was Arceus, to provide, like when you was, um... I need you to provide, just like you did when you were those other Pokemon. Quagsire, I need you to get a burn off on it, please. Burn, 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 burn. Yes! Chris! Let's fucking go, bitch. I love you. It's level 9, so it's not gonna- it's gonna have Astonish, but Astonish isn't gonna kill me in one hit, is it? Surely not. Not with a ghost type. I'm not weak to a ghost type. Who names that kid Lugia? I named him Lu I named him Lugia because I wanna we I wanna beat Lugia. Okay, that's fine. And we didn't flinch, Chris, you're a fucking legend. Let's go, Chris. Okay, rap, astonish, all of that. None of it's gonna kill Chris. So we just need to get one more ember off. Yeah, just one more ember. Come on, Chris. Period! You're gonna get some levels for that. Astonish's power is now cutting half of its physical move. Ah. Oh, it's Barry. I was out of the room when you started the battle. Oh yeah, sorry, it's Barry. <laughs> Barry is a Lugia this time. We didn't lose anybody, guys. We didn't lose anybody. Oh, my jaw hurts from, like, clenching. 900 quid. Thank God. Yeah, you lost, little bitch. Okay, uh... Sean, teleport. <laughs> we need to get the hell out of here. How good it would be to have a Pokemon in real life that, you, that like, can use Teleport. Just to take you anywhere the fuck you want to go at any point. It would be lush. Saw so Trainer Lugia and I was like, what? Who the fuck? Honestly. Imagine I, imagine I gave him uh, the name Lugia and the starter Pokemon he got was Lugia. That would have been hilarious. I'm so glad that it's a Chingling. I'm so glad it's a Chingling. As soon as I use Bite on it at full power without like Tickle and everything else doing so much damage to us, it will do everything we need it to and more. Chris is level six, Sloth's level 10, Mama's level seven, Ramba's level five. Sean, we could probably do with getting you up some levels. I need to put Miss Magic Carp at the bottom because we're not using her for a while. Sloth down there so I know where you are. Uh. Like this, so I can see. Okay. Okay, we did the... 
Oh, we've got money, haven't we? I don't need any Pokeballs just yet, so let's get some potions. I won't splash out too much, but let's get two potions. Barry had a team of <laughs> Barry had a team of babies. <laughs> if you got a Lugia as a starter, you would have. I would have rage quit. I would have rage quit so hard. Oh, not me trying to use the bike. Fuck! I'm still in the last run. I'm like, let me use the bike. Uh. What's this item? Be a good TM, be a good TM, be a good TM, be a good TM. Mm, repel. I'm going to use repels and escape routes, ropes in this run through because not doing that last time was killer. Ooh. Mischievous. Dark is good against psychic though, isn't it? Like, I'm in a bad spot here, I think. Get shot up some levels. So if mm. oh, well, this already isn't very fun. When there's no space left on the team and all cool stitch cool, and all the cool shit starts showing up, you're not wrong. This is always how this happens. I'm like, this team will be good. This will do this. This will do. This is a good team. This is like to start off with, but like the first gym and stuff, and like progressing. I know we're gonna lose people because we always do, but like, it's a good team to start with. We've got like some decent mixers in this team. We've got Dragon right from the get go this time, which is a lot better than last time. We didn't get Dragon until later on. We've got a sidekick. We've got a steel. We've got a pure fire and a pure water that's going to turn into something quite decent, so you really can't complain too much. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, Mama needs healing, but that's fine. What else is in this grass? And all of our Pokemon, let me check. All but one can evolve. Do -do 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 -do. We love a Drowsy. Hotbitch had a Drowsy on her team and Foggy ripped her a new one for it and I don't know why because Drowsy is such a cute Pokemon. I love its extra long nose that's just completely unnecessary. Um, Psychic against Steel is half, so let's get you out. Eventually I'll be decent, but for now I splash, yeah. For now you splash, but eventually you will be decent. But there's no point putting any time into Hot Bish until um, we've done the first gym, because the second gym cap is 22, so it means that. Oh, fuck's sake. But the second gym cap's 22, which means that we can have you as a Gyarados before we do the second gym, which is kind of perfect, really. Wake up, Sloth! Just have a quick Siggy. Wake up, Sloth, please. Drowsy is such an underrated Pokemon, it does damage. It really does do damage, and it's like. Un unintentionally tanky at the same time, if that makes any sense. Like, you don't look at Drowsy and think, oh, I need to worry, but like, you should. You should look at Drowsy and think, I need to worry, because you just don't, you just don't know with it. It's so unpredictable. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage to me as this, as Fortress, because of the type of Pokemon that I am, but the fact that it has Hypnosis already at 5, and it's probably going to learn Confusion soon. Definitely an underrated Pokemon. Definitely a slept-on Pokemon. Like, a Pokemon that definitely should be talked about a little bit more. Right, someone do me a quick Google. When's the next level Shomboy learns any moves? Curlier. And also Chris. I feel like Chris might learn Bite soon as well. Does Vulpix learn Bite? Yeah, you're so right. You are so right, Rampen. I mean, the last Nuzlocke obviously ended today because of Lugia. Like, there's not much you can do against a level fucking 49 Lugia or whatever level it was. Like, it is what it is. But some of the ones we've gone against, like that Tangrowth that took out Hotbish. Um... Like Celebi, honestly, and I know Celebi is the legendary, but it really wasn't using anything special at all. It was just so consistently good at 
healing itself at the same time as doing damage. Like it was it was so 50-50 split that it was just impossible to fucking defeat. It depends where you are as well. Like Nuz that's what I love about Nuzlocks is you can be right at the start like we are now and go against a Pokemon that you don't see so like until so much later in the game typically. I mean like this. This is dangerous because it's a fighting type. Like it's level four, but it's two times on quite a lot. Fighting's half on Psychic though, isn't it? And Psychic is double on fighting. See what I mean? Like how much it just tanked that is insane. Revenge? Oh my god. Like what? Uh, the Lapras, yeah, exactly, like the Lapras as well. Eight quick attack, 12 spite. You, that is, you think. Oh, did she look at the, oh, did she look at the wrong generation, bless her? It's all right, there's so many generations. I keep looking at the wrong one as well, Chris. That's why I'm like, I asked Rampant and Sloth and that to look for me because every time I look, it's always the wrong one. And then I never fucking know. So Roar at level 7 and Quick Attack at level 11, Willow Wisp at 14. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Jesus. I'm sure that's the one I have, Sloth, honestly. Flamethrower at 24. She learns Flamethrower at level 24. You'll have Flamethrower before the third gym. That's kind of crazy. Definitely want Quick Attack before we go into the, into the gym, though. Definitely want Quick Attack. Because if we need to go first, then she's our best bet. Definitely our best bet. I'm going to be a little bit smart about it this time and get everybody to level a decent level before we go into the first gym. Magic Carp's just going to stay as it is, obviously, but everybody else needs some more levels. Um, I have to link replace Pokemon name. The, the, will, the will is there, but the no is not. I love that, though. The will to take part in the stream, that's all I ever care about, Chris. As long as you're here, as long as you're having fun, as long as you're chatting along, that's all I give a shit about. Just know that you're a Pokemon I will value. Trust. Value you hard time as well. Like, I can't lose Vulpix. One of like the best, the best fire types out there. I love its pieces. It's so pretty. We've got some good types to go against in these grasses as well. Like they're a little bit, they're a little bit tricky, which is good because it means we'll get a decent amount of XP for them, and as opposed to fighting against things that are super, super easy to uh, to defeat and then getting no XP for it. So. Mistripus is very quick. Like, very quick. Getting its Psy Wave off before we use it's well, it's either quick or Mama's really slow. Is Bagon not known for speed? Maybe it's not known for speed. Sean's level 5. Mama's level 8. It's just slothy, can't I? <laughs> Good, my internet upgrade is something better for online play. I can already tell it's better because I'm already screen mirror and it's crystal clear. Pose for me. Ooh, mama! Elevating in the world, I live! Ooh, Diglett. Uh, ground. Weak to water, weak to grass, weak to ice. We have none of that. We have none of that. Might have to brute force. Oh! <gasps> it's got that ability. Oh no, guys. Can I use teleport? It's got an ability where I'm trapped. 
Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. God, I hate this ability so much. Thank God Confusion does a decent amount of damage. Oh my god, can you guys hear that? It sounds like there's a fucking cyclone outside right now. It's so loud. The wind is wild. I'm wondering if we should just go do the trainers. The trainers along the way and get some XP from them. This fortress is level 10. Mama's level 8. So we should be okay, to be honest. Dependent on the Pokemon, obviously. I need them to learn some better moves. Do, 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 do. Right, let's have a look. So Sean's level 5, but has confusion. Should we start with... Let's start with Chris. Oh, she doesn't fight, does she? No. Let's go get this guy then. Uh, Shadow Tag, Wobbuffet is the Scarlet. Th is the scariest thing alive. It is, yeah, it is. That combined with Destiny Bond and all the other shit, like, it's just not fun. This is a really good type matchup here. It's Chris versus old Chris. <laughs> Perfect type matchup. I think the first time I ever saw Splash, you know, was when I had, I want to say like a Cyndaquil. And I was like, oh no, like, cause it was splashing about and it was like water, it looked like a water attack. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna die. And then I was like, um, actually I think I'm gonna be okay. But nothing happened. Until I watched Pokemon, I didn't really understand what Splash did. Like I thought it was something that if you used enough would do something, but no. You versus X you, it is very that. A new you absolutely slayed old you, old you. That's a lot of XP. That's a lot of XP from a skip loom. Hey, you've learnt Raw! Raw could be- oh, Umbreon. Uh-oh. Is Umbreon a dark type? I think it is. So cute. Ooh. I need to get a burn off on it. Burn it. Burn it, Chris. Oh my god. Burn it, Chris! Thank you. I could probably do another one now because of that. Uh, you can't lose, Chris. Pure dark. Nice. Yes, have a shiny one. And it's yellow rings of blue. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I can imagine it looking way better with blue rings than yellow rings. I, I still believe it comes from the, the Sonic universe. It looks like something from Sonic. You can do this, Chris. I believe in you. Do -do 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 -do. 210 XP. That should be some good levels. And again, almost. It's subtle shinies like Umbreon that look ridiculously good in your opinion. Yeah, you say that it's the same with like, what do you always say? The same with um, Jirachi, that it's little talismans are blue instead of, was it red? 
You like the subtle ones, don't you? I do like the subtle ones. I like some of them that are like completely wild and out there. Like I'm pretty sure one of the centrets in one of the gens is like pure gold, near enough. Like I love that too, but I for sure agree with like the the, the subtle ones are nicer. It's like that little that little slight hint of difference that makes them ten times better. So I still stand by the fact that like a green, neon green, puke green Azumarill is not a shiny that I want, you know? I do like that Mr. Mime's green though. Like shiny Mr. Mime being green instead of pink. I kind of like that. That's not too crazy. I love pure gold magic, uh, pure gold magic heart. Imagine we got a shiny magic heart. That would have been sick. Um, right. Let's keep going with Chris. Let's, uh, let's do a save. See you later, Sloth. Have a good sleep. I love them. Yeah, they're, they're pretty when it's subtle. Because, like, shiny to me is that subtle difference of making it better than the previous, like, than the regular, right? Like, if it's a completely different colour, like a zoom reel being just literally green instead of blue, it's not it's not really shiny to me, it's more so a different Pokemon, you know? <laughs> well, and so the fuckery begins. Who's got the can't be one hit KO? Is it Sloth? This Pokemon is protected against one hit KO attacks. <laughs> Chris is level 9 Sloth's level 11 Thank god, thank god Sloth has this ability, honestly Can't be one hit KO It's 10 out of 10 to me 10 out of 10 Can't be one hit KO'd, but Wait How does it work if you have Sturdy, or whatever the whatever it's called? Sloth cannot be one hit KO'd by a move. What happens if you use Self-Destruct when you have that as an ability? Do you still completely die, or do you almost completely die down to one HP and inflict the rest of the damage onto somebody else? Like, what's it work with the combination of that? You still die, okay, you still die. It's only when somebody else uses the move against you, I see. Well, at least that was like the easiest amount of XP we could have got there. Just switch in, tank the explosion. I'd be good to go with the next. It's a nice way of doing it, honestly. Da -da. What's this lady gonna have? She's got three Pokemon. Hollywag. Well. This is not for Chris. Chris could use Raw here, actually. Remind me, does Raw send it back and bring somebody else out? The foe is scared off to be replaced by another Pokemon in its party. In the wild, the battle ends. Bring somebody else out. Oh, oh. Thank God. <laughs> oh. I hate pursuit, I hate pursuit, I hate pursuit.
That felt correct. That's the Quinn. Best pick one at what level, though? Do 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 do. Level four. What's good against? Uh, what have I got that's good against water? I don't have anything that's good against the water type at the minute, do I? Especially not with moves. Uh, switch. Let's put Mama in and just see how she does with Bite. What evolves into Vesper Quinn? Combi. A female combi. And I know it's a female combi, because not only do I love Vesper Quinn, but on my Pokemon Go, I have caught over 100 combis, and not one single one has been a fucking female. I have so many combi, like, combi candies, it's insane. I have about 400 of them, and I've still yet to find a female one. I cannot find a female one to save my life. And it's really doing my bloody head in. No worries, Sluthy. Who's coming for our lamps? <laughs> Who's coming for Hotwish's lamps? Don't start a fight, you can't win. Trust. <laughs> Alright, another one down. Let's go heal again. And then it's the... The guy right outside the cave. The guy inside the cave who gives us... Rock Smash? Who would I give Rock Smash to? Hip Howdon, maybe? Hip Howdon could have Rock Smash. I'm also like Didi. Oh my god, I love Didi. From Dexter's Laboratory. I haven't seen that in ages. Okay, so in Pokemon Go. Okay, just wondering, that's my problem then. Yeah, so in Pokemon Go, it's, I think it's, it's the same in Pokemon Go as it is for this game as well. Um, Combi only evolves if it's female. And in Pokemon Go, I've literally caught hundreds of them. It's so annoying. It's a 12.5% chance to find a female. Feels like less, not gonna lie. It does feel like less. Uh, let's get Mama in again. I've got like my three solids on the left here. Mama, Chris, and Sloth. And then I've got Sean and Rampant that I need to level up at some point as well. But right now... Let's fight you. We'll go get that item as well before we move on. See what the item is. Sebastian with his one Pokemon. Oh. Manectric. Oh, we have a ground type actually, don't I? Only issue is Mama doesn't have any fucking moves that will hurt it. Just tackle. And it's a higher level than us, so I doubt it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, Mama or Sloth could also have Rock, rock Smash. Uh, could, yeah, but... Mama's already got Bite and Takedown, which are two decent moves in my opinion. Hepaldon only has... Rampant's only got Tackle at the minute, which is not the best. It needs a move that's a little bit stronger, or does a little bit more damage. And Sloth, I don't think I'd teach. Sloth's got... No, Sloth's okay too. I think I'll give Rock Smash to... Hippowdon. Just so it's got something, because then at least I can switch it into battle and it'll have something to work with, you know? These levels are pretty good here, I'm not gonna lie. Shonen. Uh, slots almost ne necessary to not teach any HMs because it's move pool is it saving grace. Oh, Fortress has like a really good move pool. Well, there you go then. We won't do anything with that if it's gonna be better for us, you know? 
See you later, hot bitch. Have a lovely time. I will let you know if someone dies. I doubt they will. I'm trying my hardest to make sure that doesn't happen, but I will definitely let you know. Oh, have a lovely night, though. I keep pressing the same button every time. HM, Rock Smash. Uh, do do do, Rampant. Let's go see what this other item is. In fact, should we fight her as well? Why not? XP, isn't it? Hopefully we go against something that is fighting or poison. That would be great. So Sean can fight. Get some experience. Now, what on God's green earth am I supposed to fucking do about that? Like, genuinely, what am I supposed to do about that? I don't have an electric type. I don't have an ice type. I don't have a rock type. I don't have a water type. I wiped a Lugia. Oh, I wanted a chance. It gets stuff like spikes, which is phenomenally good. I'll DM you if you die here. How likely, like, what is ho going to have at level 5? Is it going to have, like, Sacred Fire or something fucking crazy, or is it not? Can I try with Sean, or is that, an, is that asking to die? Am I asking to die? It's not going to have, like, Sonic Boom or anything like that, is it? That's going to do 20 damage, like, as a absolute. Also, it's, if it's going to have anything crazy, it's going to have a fire type move, right? More than flying. Because it's more fire than it is flying, if, if I remember right. But I don't remember most of the time, so... It should only have Whirlwind. Let's see then, shall we? If it's only got Whirlwind, at least everybody can have a go at fighting it, I guess. Sandstorm's out. If it's only got Whirlwind, this is a really good Pokémon to go against right now. Next! When you ask somebody to help you train your Pokemon and they literally just send their Pokemon out that uses Whirlwind every five seconds. <laughs> Fucking missed. Sloth missed! Next! <laughs> XP for everyone, this is great! Imagine I had a VS Seeker here, this would be, like, incredible. Incredible. As if it's only got Whirlwind, that's actually hilarious. Next! Is it just going to bring the same ones out in a row? Is it not going to do anything else? Jesus, what a way. What a way to start the fight today. I love this for us. Hopefully Tackle does more than Rock Smash did. Yeah, it did. Next! <laughs> Poe's design's gorgeous. Like, I love the green on the wings and the little gold like thing it's got on its head. Her uh, Hero's Learn set isn't even that bad, it just hasn't had a chance to learn anything yet. Well, I'm glad. I'm very glad that the ho is here and not in the gym. Touch wood, obviously, but... I wish it would, like, bring out somebody else that hasn't had a chance to fight yet. I hope it brings out Magic Cart. Bring out Magic Cart, please. Please bring out Magic Cart. Wait, what? Did it miss? No. 
think it missed. It would only have Whirlwind and Safeguard if it was in the gym as well. Oh, well. That might be perfect as well then, to be honest. Because it'd be a higher level. There we go. Let's see what levels we get from this, shall we? It's going to be split quite drastically between everybody. 58 for Sean. Sean's level 6. Rampant's level 6. Chris is level 10. Nice. Uh, Oddish. Uh, this is perfect for Chris. Chris is one level away from... Quick Attack. As soon as we've got Quick Attack, that'll be perfect. I might start with Chris in the gym as well, because she's got Raw. So if it's a Pokemon that I don't want to go against, like, right from the get-go and it's an issue, having Raw could be really good for that. See what the next Pokemon is as well. Um, plus, she's going to have Quick Attack, and she's going to have Ember. Have Sloth as the backup. We do need to level all the other guys up, though, you know? Uh... Level 6, level 6. So, Sloth can't get another level. Oh, sorry. Level 14, not 12, isn't it? So, Sloth can go, like, one more level. Chris can go, like, two more levels. Mama's level... 9, so she can go, like, three more levels. And then it's just Sean and Rampant, but we're going to be able to get them what we need as we go along. Training and finding things. Mischievous. Mischievous. Probably don't want to go against this with a psychic type, do I? Is it a ghost or is it dark, Mischievous? Ah. Uh-oh. Psywave shouldn't do a lot because we're psychic. Let me out. Why won't it let me escape? It's a ghost. Well, psychic is just normal on ghost, isn't it? Should I try and fight? Or is this a stupid idea? What's a better move, Confusion or Psy Wave? I feel like Psy Wave is. Why do I feel like Psy Wave has an ability? Like it, it does something along with just doing attacks. Is that wrong? To have a chance to paralyze or something? Well, I don't know why it'd be paralyzed, but something. Well, at least now I know I can kill one of those if we absolutely have to. Quick Claw. Who struggles with speed? Oh wait, actually we've got Charcoal. We can give Charcoal to Chris because it powers up a fire type moves. Metal Coat powers up steel type moves. So if we give it to Sloth and then when he learns a steel type move, Quick Claw is to make them quick. So we can give it to, let's give it to Mama out of our strong ones. Uh, inflicts a random amount of damage varying between one damage and one times 1.5 times the user's level. That's what it does. Okay. It's a route. It's a baby us. Hello. Hello. I know it's not going to do a lot of damage, but we'll get the XP for slugging it. So 1.5 times a lot. So five, six. So it does about eight damage. Psy wave. 7-8 damage, depending on... Obviously, depending on level, but where we're at right now. Do -do 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 -do. I don't think this has confusion at level 5. <clears throat> I think we do, because we're already evolved. But I don't know if Ralts has confusion, so it's like level 7, maybe? I think it's only got Growl.
I do always find it funny in randomizers when you go and like you, you you catch like a curlier in the first bit and then the second zone has a relts. It's like it should be the opposite way around, obviously, but I love it. Some decent XP for that. Sean's level seven. All right, next. I think we should fight these trainers this time as well for the XP before the gym. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, we get the item that's in the mine as well, don't we? There's two items in the mine. Let's see what those are. Hopefully one of them's a uh, TM. Skun tank is poison, right? So poison and possibly dark, actually. So does that mean that this doesn't do any damage to it? Yeah, it's poison and dark, so I can't use Sean against it, can I? Um... Put Sloth in. What is going on outside? I can hear thunder and lightning and there's like not a cloud in the sky. It's very weird. I can hear it through my headset. Uh, even funnier when the first route in the game only has legendary, but Victory Road has Weedles and Badoofs. Very, very much that, yeah. Or trainer, trainers with Lou Gear, like I had to deal with. I, do you know what? The, the only thing about um, starting again that I don't mind, like not being able to complete the Nuzlocke and having to start again, is that we get to do Eterna Forest again and go with Cheryl. And I think this time I'm probably going to utilize Cheryl to the max because I didn't utilize her as much as I could have. We could have got a lot more XP for everybody um, if I'd have done a little bit more with her. But it's also fun to see what Pokemon she's going to have. We've had Mewtwo. Oh, Rapid Spin. We had Mewtwo and then we had Growlithe. So God knows where it's going to be now. Um, rapid spin. 20. Can also eliminate moves such as bind, rat, leech seed, and spikes. That's really good, actually. I think it's time to get rid of self. Let's get rid of tackle. Get rid of tackle. I'm keeping self destruct just like as an absolute if we fucking have to kind of scenario. I don't want to have to use it, obviously, at all, but if we have to use it, then I will. But it's there, because I'm not team wiping, so I'd rather just use self-destruct, but... Right, next. Rapid spin's good, though. Gets rid of leech seed, gets rid of rat, bind, all of that. Quillfish. It's just water in this. Water poison. Like this, like this shit. These spikes. Confusion is a special type move, isn't it? So as long as I kill it with confusion, then I shouldn't. The spikes shouldn't do anything. Because I'm not technically moving or whatever, it's not a physical move. Doesn't require movement. There we go, level eight. We have a team that's easier to level this time as well. Like everybody's getting up their levels, you know, the way that you would want them to. I've only got one potion. Who should I use it on? Sloth will be fine. Next. Next! Yeah, everybody's leveling up better this this time. Hippowdon, not so much, but that's because I've just not put Hippowdon in yet. Not Hippowdon, Hippopotas, sorry. Totodile. I don't have grass. I don't have electric. It's only level five, though, you know? And he's a first... Uh, first evolution, so what's he gonna have? Water gun? Scratch? Just scratch at this point? 
Oh. Last run, nearly all of your Pokemon had very slow growth rates. Yeah, they did, and you could feel it, couldn't you? Like, you could feel it. All the slugging and slugging and slugging, and that's probably why I lost, because, like, making the decisions I made, being like, you know, I've got to be quick. Not got to be quick, but, like, I can't be here all fucking day training and training and training and training and training when, really, um... Get crystal levels. Um, yeah, I like. I want to. I don't want to sit here for like six hours and train and train and train and train and train without like progression in the actual game because it's boring for me. So I can't imagine how boring it is for you guys. So I was like, do you know what? Let's just like try and take a little bit of risk here and there, and then the risk is what's obviously kicked us in the ass afterwards. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We managed to do all eight gyms and get through that run. So. It's still a win in my books. It's the furthest we've got. It's a massive step up from where we were the, the previous three runs as well before that. So to be put, that's why most streamers have the rare candy clause where they hack in rare candies and raise their Pokemon up to the level cap of the next gym. See, I have, I have the rare candy cheat. I do have the rare candy cheat, but I just don't want to do it. I do have the rare candy cheat. I can put it in at any point. I'd just rather not, like, you know? I think if we got to Victory Road again and we were in the situation that we were in last time, in the sense that, you know, we had a good team, but we had to level Typhlosion up to the right levels. Chris was taking a fucking long time to level. Like, maybe I would cheat in some rare candies then and just give ourselves, like, even, even just, like, five levels so that everybody was, like, level 45 or higher, you know? Like, beat the gym, which is level 49, so realistically I could have given them rare candies up to level 49, because it's not cheating per se, because I've already done the gym to that cap, so... It's so much more fun fighting the wild Pokémon, in my opinion. Well, same with me, like, I just think it's... What's the point of doing a Nuzlocke if you're going to cheat the candies in just to make it easy for yourself? Like, the whole point is to deal with slugging it, you know what I mean? So... I completely understand. I can understand both points, but yeah, I'm a bit like you where... If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it because I've fucking worked my ass off with the team that we've got and whatever, you know? Magmarizer. What the hell is that? Is that what evolves magma? A box packed with a tremendous amount of magma energy. It is loved by a certain Pokemon. Is that what evolves magma? Is that a thing? Magmarizer. I've never seen that before. Combusken! What a babe! Right, I'm just gonna nip to the loo. I'll be back in a sec. Why is this level 9? I'm here. Oh my god. I drank- I need to- I really need to like start looking at how much liquid I consume before a stream and during a stream. Because 22 bathroom breaks in a week. <laughs> That's really bad. It's not going to have anything other than Ember, is it? Ember Scratch, maybe? Oh god. Oh, it's fighting type, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Oh, the way that we started today is so strong. The way that we started today, ready to train for the Pokémon League, with some really tanky boys in the team, and now here we are again, yet again, 
at the beginning, at the bottom of the barrel before the first gym. It's so sad, it really is. What was the likelihood, actually? Is there a, you know that you've got like calculators for stuff rampant? Is there a, is there a calculator to do like what the previous team was to see if we, we had a likelihood of being able to defeat the Elite Four? I know it's randomized, but like realistically, could we have done the Elite Four? Like realistically, would we have made it past one? Would we have made it past two? Like who knows? I wish there was a way that I could test that. I really wish there was a way that we could test that. Oh, thank God. Because I feel like Wall Rain would have carried us through quite a lot. Venus would have come in clutch with quite a few of the water types and stuff. But I don't really think, I really still don't believe we would have done it. But even with the, even if we'd have leveled, honestly, I don't believe we'd have done it. I've got no potions. Little gulpin boy. Can definitely take this on with Sean. Nice. I have antidotes, so. Oh. Do, 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 do. It's sad though, Chris, with your Pokemon because the, in in this one, because unless I find a Firestone, you're never going to get to evolve. I really hope we do find a Firestone. I've got to let you learn Flamethrower first, so at level 24 before I evolve you. Otherwise, it will take a lot longer, I think. But I would love it. Oh my God. Yeah, no. Oh, really? Fucking Cresselia. Let's hope. Well, we found a Firestone and a Waterstone last time, so I don't see why we can't this time. Cresselia is the legendary. I wonder why Cresselia doesn't do like the legendary intro like some of the Pokemon do. There might be a reason for that that I don't know. Ice heal. So no TMs down here, which sucks. Oh, is that Pokeball there, actually? Yeah, we know what it can do, sir. We know we have to kill you to be able to get it. I know, I understand. I know. Please be a TM, please be a TM, please be a TM, please be a TM, please be a TM. Raise a fight. There's the crit ratio one. It may cause the flow the foe to flinch when the holder inflicts damage. Uh sure. Why not? Oh, I said I'm gonna be I'm gonna use repels this time. So I'm gonna use this now. Start our first start our first radio, sir, you know what I mean? Use repel, help me get out of here. Let's go heal, let's go do the gym. We can do the gym at where we are now. Easily. Easily, easily, easily. We've done it with with much less, much less. Not it wearing off right outside the Pokemon Center. That's so weird. I couldn't have timed it any better. I couldn't have timed it any better. I'm drinking my leftover freezing cold tea. It's not the vibe. Really not the vibe. All right, let's have a look, shall we? We have Sean, Chris, Sloth. Mama. We can do the trainers first. Let's do the trainers first. Get the XP from the trainers in the gym. All right, gym one. Gym one, baby. Let's do this. Da 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 it's a normal type, I believe. Level 10.
Stop, stop! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what the hell? Kirsty, thank you so much for the sub. How are you, my darling? Well, that was scary. Did not think Headbutt was going to do so much fucking damage. That won't do anything. Thank God for Sloth. You want to fight? Let's go, sir. Let's go. You're good. Good, 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 good. Nice to see you, my darling. We lost our we lost our run, Kirsty. You were our beautiful Venusaur, as I'm sure you remember. And unfortunately, we died. Unfortunately, we died. We lost it. And now we're having to do it all again. Do it all again. But it's okay. I have faith in us. One down, one to go, and then it's time for the gym leader. And as soon as we've done this gym, we can start leveling Magic Carp, and Magic Carp will then become our, one of our very good boys, actually. Having a Gyarados will be great, because it means we'll actually have a water type that has a water type move. I don't know what the first water type move Gyarados learns is. I imagine it's something like Water Pulse, or... I don't think Gyarados learns Water Gun, to be honest. No, I don't think it does. It might learn something that's not even water-based to begin with, to be honest. We need to... I hope the TMs are different in Veilstone City this time as well, for sure. I really hope they're different. Because they were bad last time. Come on, Darius, what you got? Nummel. See, this is where a water-type Pokémon would be perfect. And we don't have one! Hopefully this makes it flinch. Nope. Oh, bless you, so do I. I have faith in this too. This time it's gonna go better, Kirsty, I promise. I'm giving my all. I'm giving my all. We have a good team. I like our team this time. Like, I'm actually confident about it for once. We've got a strong Psychic type, we've got a really strong Fire type. Fortress is like one of the biggest tanks ever. The Hippo is going to be pretty good when we level it up as well. Mantine. Uh, I don't have Electric and I don't have Grass, do I? No. Let's just try with Sean. We'll try one and see what happens. I really wish you'd make it flinch. Or confused, that's also perfect. I forget that confusion can make them confused. I know it's so silly to say that because it's literally in the name, but I forget that it can cause confusion. We can do this all with Sean, that'd be perfect. The amount of XP you'd get is honestly perfect. Honestly amazing. Uh, here you go, so Flail, Splash, Tackle, Twister, Ice Fang. Oh, it might get Brian then. It might get Brian. I think that's the wrong one you're looking at, Mama, because of the fact that it can learn Waterfall at 21. It won't learn Waterfall at 21 because Waterfall is a HM in this one. Waterfall is a HM and it has to be taught. So I think that might be the wrong one you're looking at. Oh my God. Get out, get out, get out. Let me have a look. Uh... Yeah, you're looking at the one that I can see. I think that's incorrect because... Waterfall is a HM move that it can't learn unless I teach it to it, so... 
I imagine, judging by like Gyarados, it'll probably learn Crunch. Crunch and Brine. Looking at what it can learn in the other gens and stuff. Probably Crunch and Brine. Maybe Rain Dance. <laughs> Pokemon can still learn HM moves naturally, really? Wild. If it learns the HM move naturally, can it still be replaced? Or if it learns a HM move naturally, does that mean that it can't be replaced? Like you can't, you still need to go to the move deleter. Salamance naturally learns fly. Wow. Wow. So it will learn bite. That makes more sense. Bite at level 20. Dragon Rage at level 23 though, that's good. Interesting, very interesting. Not what I thought. All right, it's time for the gym. We've got two level 10s, a level 9, a level 6, level 12, a level 4. Let's do this shit. We got this. You can learn HM moves naturally, but can't use them outside of battle till you get the badge requirements. And I'm assuming that it still works the same way in that you can't... Um... I was going to start with Vulpix, wasn't I? It's all good. Um... So you can't get rid of them like you can normal moves, even though it's learnt naturally, because it's still a HM move, you can't get rid of it. Okay, this works out perfectly. Confuse or flinch, one of the two would be great. Neither. Oh. Of course. Of course we were poisoned. Sir, please. Please crit, Sean. Crit, 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 crit. You can still do it. Forget the gym leader uses potions. <laughs> I forget that that's the thing. He used one potion now, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he still uses a full restore as well. Two hundred ninety-two XP. Let's fucking go. All right, who's next? Pidgey. Let's use Mama. Do, 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 do. This is level 12. Uh, honestly, no clue on that part, but likely not. Yeah. Maybe it will learn Waterfall at level 21 then. I did forget that Crunch is something that Gyarados learn, learns quite um, quickly, isn't it? As soon as it becomes uh, Gyarados from a magic car. Mama, you need to like land a bite now, that'd be great, please. Land a bite. Oh. Da 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 da. Another potion, not a full restore this time, a potion. Right, I'm going to switch. Come on out, Slothy. Come on, Slothy. Uh, 
Uh, gotta love how in Rocket Edition your Raticate is a higher level than my level 8. Team you too. What level's your fucking. What level's your Raticate? Is that the one you started with? Your Pidgey that you began. The, uh, no, your Pidgey. Fucking hell. Your um, Ratata that you started with. Okay, we can tank the tackles fine. It's the gust that worries me. Ninety-six. Oh my god, it is indeed. How the hell have you leveled it up so quickly? Like, shit in hell. Have you given it some rare candies, or have you literally just trained it? You only started a couple of days ago, didn't you? All right, his final Pokemon is. Remind me again what this is going to have at level level 14. What is the Ho-Oh going to have at level 14? I literally touched wood so this wouldn't happen. Is it going to have Whirlwind and Safeguard? Is that what you said? At level 14? You've fought every, you've fought every trainer in the game and finished the game. Okay, fair enough. That's Okay, that's fair. Safeguard and Whirlwind. Uh, let's get some people in to train then, shall we? As if... As if this is a ho -o. Like, honestly, my RNG is so crazy sometimes. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, it's gonna do no damage. There comes the first whirlwind. The XP from this should be good. Rocket Edition has multiple endings though, so I'm going to play it through again for a different ending. Nice. What kind of different endings are there? What was the ending? What was the first ending that you did? Like, what did you get from? How did the first one go? Do, 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 do. Oh god, this is, if he does a full full restore on this one as well, this is gonna take a long time to fight. Keeps bringing out rampant. Poor rampant. Use safeguard this time. You got the bad ending. Won't spoil what happens if you play it, but I landed in jail with a bounty of 577,000 Poke Dollars on your head. Holy shit. Holy shit. Bad ending as in, like, bad you did a bad job, or like bad ending as if, like, there's a good ending to it as well. That sounds crazy, though. I didn't realize you had bounty on you, like bounties on your head and stuff. That's really cool. I've definitely got to give it a go. I really do. Not until I've completed a Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke, though. Let me tell you, it's been so long trying to do all this. Every Pokemon you steal increases the bounty. Oh, so that's why you that's why when you said to Hotfish in Discord you have so many Pokemon. That makes sense now. It's quite dangerous this whirlwind actually, because when Mama gets pulled out, she's like really low in health, so it's a good job Ho can't do any damage other than what is already going on with the sandstorm. Bring out somebody who's not been out yet. Bring out Magic Cart. I wanted to bring out Magic Cart so it gets some XP. Uh, I have over six boxes full of stone stolen Pokemon. That's wild. Come on, Rampant. Take it. Take it. Oh, really? Bring out Magic Cart. Go on. Bring out Magic Cart. I dare you. Bring out Hotbish. 
Nah. It's gonna die from the sandstorm, I think, anyway. What a crazy first gym. Oh, well, level 14. There we go. Let's see what XP we get from this. Mama got 165. She's definitely level 10. And learned Leah. Chris, level 11. Quick attack. Lovely. Rampant. Level 7. Learn Bite. Oh my god, this is great. Sloth. Level 13, excuse me. Gorgeous. God love how we predicted you'd find a hoe in the gym. The way that we the way that I said, touch wood, hopefully there's not one in the gym, and then you were like, oh no, it'd be okay if there's one in the gym, because it's only gonna have whirlwind and safeguard. Lo and behold, what happens? A hoe in the gym with safeguard and whirlwind. It did us a favor, really, like you get so much more XP from the from the legendaries, obviously. And the fact that it's whirlwind and it's like pushing us out. Please be a good TM this time. God swap. The user employs its psychic power to switch changes to its defense and special defense with the foe. It's a psychic type move. Let's just utilize the TMs properly this time. Sean, you're a psychic type boy. Maybe there's a, a part where we need to do this. Let's get rid of Growl. God swap. <clears throat> we'll take it. Uh, antidote on Sean. Let's go heal. Do, 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 do. First gym done. Gym one complete. Do, 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 do. There we go, one badge. One badge. Oh, there's a Raichu in the chat right now. Mm -mm. Lovely. All right, back we go then. Oh wait, we've got money, haven't we? We have money now. I hope I got more from that gym because he had a hello. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Chris. I appreciate it. Three antidotes. Let's grab one paralyze. We have an awakening, don't we? Yeah, so let's then get two more pokeballs just in case. You start making sure we have pokeballs along the way this time and not just buy all the potions and stuff because if I need to replace anybody and I don't have any money for it. Oh wait, we have. Do we have any items that we can get rid of? Yeah, we have an X speed or something. I think. Um, X special. Lovely. Set up for a strong for a strong star. I'm quite proud of us actually. I think now as well. Let's put Hotfish in front, and then we'll just switch out to somebody that's better. Here comes Lugia. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, you better get it, Kirsty. All right, Barry. He's just a bit too much, isn't he? Lugia, he's, he's a bit too much. He gives a bit too much. Too much energy. Too much fucking energy. Do, do. All the trainers are done. The gym's done. It's now time to go and do that Team Galactic thing, actually, isn't it? So, it's a double battle. Is it worth having Heartbish out first? Probably, because I could just switch to Sloth, can't I? Yeah, let's do this. Impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling us to nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners if you will. Sure thing. I will show them some manners. Let's see what's it. 
<clears throat> let's see what the vibe is with Team Galactic on this run through, shall we? Last time they had a hell of a lot of legendaries. They had a Giratina, they had some Latias. They had quite a lot of legendary stuff. So let's see what we're... That's going to set the tone for what we're going to be going against as we go through this playthrough. We have a Haunter and an Anorith. All right. Wait, what? Why does Lucas have a fortress? Why does Lucas have a fortress? Why does he have that? It, shouldn't he have, um... Uxy? Or Mesprit, or whatever it was. A little confused. Wait! Shouldn't he have the third one from the bag? Why did I get Shomboy out? He's weak to Haunter. What the hell? Oh, he could use Self-Destruct. Yeah, you're right. You're very- yeah, you're very true. Forch- yeah, fuck. I didn't think about that. And I can't heal while I'm in battle, can I? But I can t I can tank it, I think. I can probably tank the fortresses. It just keeps using protect. And now none of us can switch. So it is what it is. None of us can fight Haunter either. This is a bit of a predicament, really, isn't it? So what am I going to use to kill Haunter with? Um... Da, 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 Dark against... I can use Bacon, but then I worry. Okay. Maybe it won't use self-destruct because... It's with me? Like, if it was going to use it, it would have used it by now, right? Like, it's not going to use self-destruct against a Haunter because it knows it's a ghost type that it can't do... It can't... Get your sandstorm started. I'm so confused on what's going on. You have two fortresses. So this is the, um... This is Lucas's Pokemon. But if we go by, like, what's typically the case, there's three Pokemon from the beginning, because you get one, your rival gets one, and the friend gets one, right? Our rival has... I am really confused. I picked the Fortress, and the rival picked Chingling, which means that the only Pokémon left... was Azelf. Was it Azelf? Not Oxy Mesprit, it was Azelf, wasn't it? The Legendary. So... He should have Azelf. No? I'm sure that that's how it works. It's not Cheryl. No, it's not Cheryl. It's, it's, uh, it's our friend, Lucas. But I'm really confused as to why... He shouldn't have a fortress. Not unless he's caught one, I guess. But if he's caught one, he wouldn't use that, would he? He'd use his starter. He must have caught one. 
because he can't have the same as what I had. I have no idea. He must have caught one. It's really strange as well because it didn't use self-destruct once. So I wonder if this fortress, it must be caught because if it was a fortress and he it glitched somehow and he got the same one as me at the beginning, it would have self-destruct. If he caught it at level, I don't know, 12, 13 or whatever, it might not have self-destruct. It might have a different moveset entirely. But very weird. Really weird. I was When it said, like, our Pokemon were coming out, it was like Fortress. I was like, I'm pretty sure mine's called Sloth. Why is it saying Fortress? But it was his? Yeah, that's really strange. Because in the last playthrough when we did this, he had the third Pokemon that nobody chose. So he must have caught it. We're just really, really lucky that he didn't use Self-Destruct. But he must not have had it. Or he might not have used it because he knew that Haunter was a ghost type and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be worth it, so there's no point self-destructing. Maybe that's why. So we probably got we got lucky because of it being a haunter. Interesting. Really interesting. Something's definitely gone wrong there though, it feels like. The way the AI works, it will use the move that is guaranteed a KO, otherwise it's random. Well, so we got random RNG there really well then. <sighs> Quite scary when you think about it. He could have self-destructed at any point. So we could have lost Fortress, we could have lost Bagon, we could have even lost Sean. Or Magic Carp. I put them all in at one point. Did Magic Carp even get a level, by the way? I don't think it did. Have a look. No. It's a long way until we get the EXP share, so I'm gonna have to do the switch in, switch out thing, otherwise it's never gonna get any levels. But hopefully we go against something that's pretty decent. Let's do this first battle. A weak looking trainer, this bitch. Self-destruct only kills the fortress, not you as well. But won't I get- doesn't self-destruct do... Doesn't self-destruct do splash damage in a double battle? Like, would it not affect all of us, all four Pokémon? Or would it only... I feel like when Electrode's done it, it has. Questioning myself now. Yeah, very much questioning myself now. I'm a little bit confused by it, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it would. I thought it would self-destruct all four of us. Because I'm sure we've been in a double battle with uh, Electrode that did it. Could be wrong. Like I say. I should have said no! You were the one that called me weak, bitch. Do 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 I love the little precursor music to the battle. Alright, Tyler's got two. What we got here? Charmeleon? Round rock. I don't have anything to fight this little bastard off with, but he's gonna have Ember for sure. Uh, Vulpix has quick attack now, right? Uh, it seems it does, which is really odd because I've never seen it happen. That's what. Yeah, so it happened. It happened when the only reason Mama said it so quickly, rampant, and the reason that I was like, no, yeah, you're right, is because we had it in either the last run or the run before, where it was me. I think it might be me and Cheryl, or me and somebody else, maybe me and Riley. Uh, it was me and Riley, and I put in Spiritomb because it had focus bands, so it wasn't going to get one hit KO. 
And that's how we lost Spiritomb, I think. Was it? No, we almost lost Spiritomb that way. There was, we went against a Pokemon and an Electro. The Electro used self-destruct. It killed itself, obviously. Then it killed its partner. Then it killed the person that I was with, and then it, and then it killed me, or tried to almost killed me. I think we might have tanked it at that point. I can't really remember. Something happened. But yeah, it, it definitely takes out all four in a double battle in Diamond for some reason. Learning something new every day, that's insanely scary. It is, because especially if you're in a double battle and it's not you and somebody else. Like, if it's me doing the double battle and I'm against something that you self-destruct, I can, I can wipe two Pokemon, you know? And the way that Randomizer works, bro, like, the way it could fully be two Electrodes or, like, an Electrode, a Regirock, and a Wobbuffet in someone's team, it's just, you're asking for a wipe. Like, there's nothing you can do. It would be a wipe instantly. instantly. It's terrifying. Very much terrifying. So yeah, I'm glad Mama called that because I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that that could have been a possibility then. But we've managed to, we managed to do it. Thank God. There's nothing worse than being partnered with somebody that has a shit Pokemon, in like especially in Nuzlocke's. Praying this time Cheryl has a better Pokemon than she did last time because I cannot be dealing with no Growlithe that dies after one hit. Like you need to crit now, Rampant. Okay, we should be able to kill it before it unleashes energy. <laughs> nice. Our team is a lot better this time. Like, around these areas, I'm not struggling about or thinking about too much who I need to switch to. It's a little bit easier. I think having a ground type this time has made the world of difference. The world of difference. Any kind, especially now Rampant has Bite as well. It doesn't make it as difficult to fight. Uh, your Cheryl in your Dragonite starter only had a Mewtwo. Well, mine had a Mewtwo in the first run as well. Mine had a Mewtwo and it was really, really, really good. But when, the, when we did the next one, she had Growlithe. And Growlithe kept using... Oh god, what did it keep using? Someone will remind me. It kept using something that was just fucking god-awful. Like, it was so, so, so bad. I think it was... It was either Growl or Leer or... Raw or... I don't even know. It was something ridiculously shit. And every time I tried to fight, it would just use that and then it would die. But then when it was dying against all of the trainer battles and stuff, the issue then... Is that I then had to fight two Pokemon at once in a trainer battle with one Pokemon, and that's when we fell into the Celebi issue, and that's when Celebi wiped half the team. Because it was it was with it was Celebi and Ambipom, I think, and Ambipom was using Tickle, so I was getting weaker and weaker and weaker as we went along. And then it, Celebi was using Confusion on everything, and I didn't have anything that could go against a Psychic type Pokemon at the time, and it just completely half wiped the team. Cheryl seems to like Mewtwo as well. Let's hope she has another Mewtwo this time again. She better. She better have a Mewtwo. I'll tell you that now. As long as it's not Growlithe, honestly. Growlithe was shocking. Blue Shard. Doo doo doo. Do, do. How are we doing for hell? <coughs> Excuse me. We're alright. We're alright. Next. Da, 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 da. She has a leafy on. Do, 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 do. Come on, Chris Fix. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Get one shot. Oh. But. No. Interesting.
You're done. You're done. The fact that Hotbish is leveling so slowly is triggering already. Uh, hop it, we can do this again. <clears throat> hop it's weaker than Leafeon, isn't it? So this should one-shot it. That Hop Hip looks like a weird colour as well. Hop Hip's normally like a really light pink, isn't it? It looks very red here. Some of the photos of the Pokemon, like the pixel art of them in this one, is very strange. It's very different. Half of them don't even look like the Pokemon I know them to be. Cherish Ball. Lovely. What does that one do again? One of you says it's a really good ball. Quite rare Pokeball that has been specially crafted to commemorate an occasion of some sort. Just have a really good... Um, I forgot that we have to do a double battle here. We don't have to, but I want to. Let's put in Hotfish... No, sorry. Let's put in Mama and Chris. Get these guys some more levels. And then we'll go heal and we'll come back down here and we'll fight that one trainer. Get magic carp up as well. Torkoal and Nummel. God, I need a Gyarados with a water type move, don't I? Jesus. At least Chris can't be hit by any of the fire type moves. So let's go. Quick attack on Nummel. Take down Torkoal. I'll take that. Do, do, do. Same again. Torkoal is such a cool design. I wouldn't mind having that in the party, honestly. God, why are they going for Chris? They're coming for your ass, Chris! I forgot that Chris has an item that helps with... She has the Razor Claw, doesn't she? For... for Chris. Do, 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 do. A couple levels away from Will O Wisp. Do you want to crit? Nope. It's really bad RNG with that smog. Honestly, putting takedown on Bagon was probably like one of the smartest choices I've made in a long time. Like the fact that it doesn't have uh, its ability doesn't take recoil. It works wonders having it on there. Do 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 do. And Flow Aroma Town we are already. Valley Windworks time, babies. Valley Windworks. Cheeky little heel. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Get this item. Who do we have that's flying? We don't have anybody, do we? Who should we teach? Who's who's best to learn wing attack? It's a pretty good flying type move, honestly. Who's not who's not weak to flying? Flying is half against electric, rock, and steel, so it's probably best to give. Or should we give it hot bitch so that when it evolves into a Gyarados, it has a move? As a flying type move right from the get-go, this could be good to give to Hotbish. 
because it's going to be water flying, isn't it? When it evolves. So if we give it Gar if we give it what will be Gyarados now, and also it means that when Hot wishes a couple more levels, they can fight for itself in battle. Sean's got some decent moves. Sloth's got a good move pool, as Rampant said. Rampant's also got some decent moves at the minute. Mama's got some decent moves, and Chris has got good moves, so... I say Hotfish. Teaching a magic cop, wing attack. My god. What is the world coming to? Uh, what level are the Pokémon around here, actually? Let's have a look. Let's see. Poliwag? It's water type moves are gonna do nothing against us. Go on, Magic Cart. You got this, baby. I believe in you. Oh. <laughs> oh. How. Oh, it's a crit. I was gonna say, how is Bubble gonna do three damage? I know it's a Magic Cart, but fuck me. Do you wanna try and get a crit, Hot Bish? That would be lovely. Thank you. Well done. So proud. So very proud of you. What's this going to do when it doesn't crit? One damage, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. This could be actually good to train Hotbish on, these water types. Poliwag's easy. Do, 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 do. Water Sport weakens fire type moves, doesn't it? Yeah. What's the one that weakens electric? Mud Sport. I think it's Mud Sport. Level 15, Hotbish will learn Tackle. So it'll have Tackle, Wing Attack, and then when it evolves, it'll probably learn Crunch. So it'll have some decent moves. Decent-ish moves. But teaching it Wing Attack means that it's going to get better XP, because switching it in and out is not good. It better level up. Thank God. Well done, Hotbish. I'm so proud of you. So very proud of you. Oh. I don't think, for some reason, I don't think Magic Carp's gonna. Oh my God. Somebody remind me again if Reggie Gigas has explosion. Did you say it didn't? But it can have all the fangs, right? Or all the punches or something. Can't get going because of its slow start. That means I get one move on it. Wait, it's... Stop, 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 stop. What do you mean? I thought slow start meant that it wouldn't... It couldn't use... Huh? I thought slow start meant that it wasn't going to use a move for the first turn. It's got Knock Off and Stomp. I mean, if we lose anybody, Reggie Gigas would be sick to have on the team. A very much, a very different Legendary to the ones we've had on the teams before. Like, we've had the classic Legendaries, we've not had anything like this. Beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. Makes that noise, doesn't it? Oh god, finally got his act together. Ooh. It might be time to switch, yeah, I think it is. Well, the XP should be good, I would hope, but I don't know if I, how I feel about fighting this again. Uh, 
Oh, the XP is not that. Oh, it's probably because I split it between so many of them, but the XP wasn't that good at all. The way that the music goes from that craziness to like afterwards. Hello? Like we were just in a crazy battle with a Reggie Gigas? The fuck? Okay, Polywags, yes. Reggie Gigas, no. Not for us. Do, 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 do. Let's see what else is in here, actually. Pichu. Definitely something that I don't want to be fighting with a magic card. What's it going to have? Spark or Thundershock at this level? Maybe neither, maybe both. Who knows? Thundershock, yeah. As I thought. Absolutely not, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yet again, I've just realized as well. Yet again, guys, we don't have <laughs> any kind of electric person in our team. Yet again. I think if we lose somebody, we'll have to go for something electric this time as well, because we've gone with ground. We haven't got a fighting type in the team yet. That'll probably come later on when we lose somebody as well. Who will be likely to lose? We're likely to lose Magic Heart before it evolves, honestly. Once it's evolved, I don't think we'll lose it. We're probably <clears throat> likely to lose Curlia because its HP is not very strong. I don't see us losing the other four. Possibly... Vulpix. But again, it's a very possible. Do, do, do. God, paralysis is annoying. Wonder what level uh, Rampant learns its first ground type move. Hippopotus. By leveling up. Dun, dun, dun. Level 8 Yawn. Level 8 it learns Yawn, and level 12 it learns Sand Tomb. And level 16 it learns Dig, I think. And then Crunch at level 20. I don't know if it evolves. I'm going to assume 20 something. 34 it evolves. Holy fuck. We got this hippo for a long ass time. Very long time, actually. Should be very tanky by the end, though. Oh, God. Um, actually, we should be okay to use wing attack on this. Fish. Fucking paralysis. Bug tire. Oh, my God. Crit. you are. Of course you are. Come on, you can do one more. One more wing attack. Come on, Hotfish. Yeah, baby! It must get such a boost in HP when it evolves into Gyarados, because it's so shit at the minute. Almost. 
do. Do, 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 do. Oh, for those that are still here as well, you know I was talking about how I was going to do the Skyrim playthrough, the new Skyrim. Well, not the new Skyrim, but a new Skyrim playthrough. Um, I'm thinking now, because I, I thought we'd finish this, the last run I thought we'd finish it, honestly, but I don't think we're going to. So, I'm thinking... Best course of action, because also now I'm going to be working the Saturdays, aren't I? So I can't stream on the Saturdays anymore, unless I don't get the shift that week. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is do... I'm going to switch the days about again. I know I keep doing it so much at the minute, but I'm just trying to figure everything out so that it all falls into place so that then I don't have to change anything for a long time kind of thing. Um, what I'm thinking... What I was going to do was Pokemon Nuzlocke Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. King of Retail on Thursdays, and then Skyrim Friday, Saturday. But now I won't be doing the Saturday streams. Um, I think I... Depending on whether they want me in immediately after this trial ship on Friday, will depend on whether or not I do on this Saturday, but I can almost guarantee next Saturday is probably when it starts. And then the Saturday after that's Tom's birthday anyway, so I won't be here. But, um... I'm thinking what might be best to do to get a little bit of variety in the gaming and stuff that we're doing recently. Uh, don't worry about switching, it's okay, thank you. But I wanna, I wanna do it, so I'm thinking what I do instead is Monday, Tuesday, Nuzlocke, Wednesday, King of Retail, and then Thursday, Friday, Skyrim. It just means on a Thursday, I might end up streaming a bit longer than usual because Fridays are now going to be not cut short, but I'm probably going to be starting earlier on the Fridays. Um, yeah, probably starting earlier on the Fridays so that I can still get a good stream in before I have to go to work. So I'll probably do longer on the Thursday so we can actually get some Skyrim play. You know what I mean? But that's what I've been thinking. So that it's split midweek. And then I think once we've done, <clears throat> once we get to the ending, if you will, of King of Retail, once we're like happy with all the shops and stuff and all the things that we've done, I'll probably add Skyrim on that day for a little bit until we find a new game that we want to do. So then it's just like split half the week, Pokemon at the start of the week, Skyrim at the end of the week. And then obviously Discord Saturdays aren't changing, so we can all chill watch some films, whatever. This week, what's this week? What are we doing again this week? This week's Discord Saturday is going to be... Um, we're watching Roadhouse. <clears throat> we're watching the new Roadhouse because Van wanted to really watch that and so do I. So... What is going on with my throat? So we're watching Roadhouse and then... I think we're pushing K-dramas back a little bit. But we're gonna watch Legendary, I think. We're either watching Legendary or Pose. I can't remember. And we might be starting with Paris is Burning as well. We might start with Paris is Burning. Unless those that are interested in it watch Paris is Burning prior. We'll probably watch it that day. And then we'll do... I feel like we should start with... If we're gonna watch Paris is Burning or anything like that, like gay community vibe, I think we should start with Legendary just because it's very, very much more fun. Pose is very more serious, but Legendary is very fun. So I feel like it'd be quite fun if we do Legendary to begin with. You're gonna gag. I need to make sure I show you the right season as well. Because otherwise... Oh! Oh! Oh, thank god. Thank god. Fuck that. But yeah, that's my idea, that's my plan. I think that's what we're going to go for, to begin with. I'll let you know if anything changes, but I'll put, obviously, uh, everything will be updated in Discord so you guys can see. I might make a little graphic so it's easier to understand, because the amount of times I put, like, this is what it is now, and then you go in Discord and you see loads of messages, and then if you miss Discord, you miss all the messages, and then you look at the events and you're like, are we starting at this time today? Are we not at this time today? I like having it consistent with the streams, because then at least you guys know when I'm here, when I'm not here, you don't need to wait for no notification and no bullshit like that. Like, you know what time I stream. You know I'm here for 
between like five and seven hours each time, honestly. So I'm trying not to change it too much, but... Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Because I really want to get this Skyrim thing started as well. So I might even start it this week. I might even start the Skyrim playthrough this week because I was I was under the impression we were going to do run four. Run four on this, I thought we were going to do it. I thought we were going to complete it. And then I was like, we could just switch to Skyrim for a little bit, do a little bit more of that, and then think about what are the Nuzlocke. But I am not quitting the Nuzlocke until we do the Nuzlocke. So this will continue. This will probably be the longest, the longest playlist on the VOD channel on YouTube will be this fucking Pokemon Nuzlocke because of how long it's, how many times I'm having to do each run, because I just cannot do it for some reason. But yeah, I might start it this week. If I start it this week, that means, for those two of you that are still here, Mama and Chris, uh, our King of Retail will be Wednesday this week. We'll do King of Retail on Wednesday. We'll do King of Retail on Wednesday, just so that I know I've got it done for the week. And then Thursday, I'll see. I'll see how much time I've got. If I haven't got a lot of time, I'll do a Nuzlocke. If I have got a lot of time, I'll do Skyrim. And we'll get like a good amount of time in. And we'll see what we can do. See how far we can get with our little Archer playthrough that we're going to do. I'm well excited. It's going to be so different. We've been playing... We've been playing Nuzlocke, which is like very simple. Like me just pressing two or three buttons. We've been doing King of Retail, which again, like it, it involves a lot in the mind, but it does not involve a lot on the keyboard. Like my hands, I'm going to have to like warm up my hands and stuff because Skyrim requires like pressing loads of buttons and shooting and jumping around and stuff. And I've not done it in so long. And all I've been doing is just pressing like X and using the up, down, left, right keys to walk around in Pokemon. Hilarious. Yes, I'm always down for some King of Rethan Sky. I may pick my game back up. Go for it. I love it when you guys play alongside. It's like my favorite thing. I love when, like, I'm doing the Nuzlocke, Hot Vision Rampant, and Foggy, and everybody talking about theirs, Sean, Sloth. And then when we did uh, Skyrim, it was so nice hearing Mummers, Aussie Ducks, Hot Vicious, Chris's games, and how, like, they were doing. Because I wouldn't have found half the shit I found if you guys hadn't have played it alongside me as well, because you were finding things that none of us even fucking knew about. And then. Like Hotfish, as soon as I ended Merlin the Mad's playthrough, Hotfish was like, Oh, did you know that there's this fucking pirate ship? Did you know that there's this, um... Did you know there's an actual labyrinth in Labyrinthian? And I'm like, uh, no, but I feel like I should have. Skyrim, yeah, we're gonna be doing... We meet again. We meet again, Moltres. We meet again. There's a Moltres here, there's a Reggie Gigas here, there's a Garchomp here. This grass is 10 out of 10, not gonna lie. Pretty 10 out of 10. But yeah, we're gonna do another Skyrim rampant. Are you a big. You said you like Skyrim, don't you? Fucking Garchomp. God, if we team wipe bar one Pokemon, we'll come back here, we'll have a Dragon, we'll have a Firebird, we'll have Reggie Gigas, and a Poliwag. Drunk Master returns, I know. Drunk Master returns. This Pokemon. Right, I'm not going to make the same mistake I did last time. Now that I have my own Steam account, i got to start over again with a playthrough. Maybe I'll do it now too. Ooh, yes! Always down to watch some Skyrim as well. Nice. Go for it, Chris, honestly. Don't see why not. Now you've got your own Steam account as well. Ooh. That was a good hit. <clears throat> Do you know what I would like this time in this playthrough? A Pokemon that can't be confused. Is there any kind of ability that snaps you out of confusion, like, instantly? What kind of Pokemon would have that? I'd love nothing more than a Pokemon that doesn't get confused or snaps out of it very quickly. <coughs> Snap out of it. Oh, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. Magic Carp should get some more XP this time because I switched between like three Pokemon last time. Yeah, there's more. More this time. 
do 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 Yeah! <clears throat> Perfect. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, da -da -da -da. Uh, our own, own tempo prevents the Pokemon from being afflicted by confusion, even if it is self-inflicted. What Pokemon has that? What what has that rampant? What's a common Pokemon to have that? Spawnt is a move that prevents all status moves except Protect. Really? Why did I not know that? Maybe I need to... I swear I sold my TM Taunt last, last run through. I need to... I really need to start looking at the moves that don't actually do damage and like thinking about them a lot more. Unless it puts someone to sleep or like one hit KOs, I just don't normally care. And evidently that's showing. All right, Hot Wish is level 10. Back to the Pokemon Center and heal them up. Slowpoke. Slowpoke's someone that would have own tempo. All right. It makes sense that Slowpoke wouldn't be confused, seeing as though it's constantly confused, quite frankly. Slowpoke is constantly confused. <laughs> that makes sense, actually. I love it. All right, let's have a look at where we're at. Run number five, because we died today. So we have Hotbitch at level 10, we have Mummer at level 11, we have Chris at 12, Rampant at 8, Sloth at 13, Sean at 11. We're looking, before we do the next gym, we're looking at getting Hotbitch to level 20, just before the level cap for Gyarados. Chris, we need to get to level 24 at least before we find a Firestone and evolve it, because then it will learn Flamethrower. Rampant doesn't evolve until level 30 something anyway, so it's just going to be a train, train, train to make it more tanky. Sean, we need to find a Dawnstone for before it reaches level 30, so we have the choice of whether it's going to be a Gardevoir or a Gallade. If not, it's just going to have to be a Gardevoir. Mama is learning things slowly. I don't know what level Mama actually evolves into Shellgon. Let me have a look. Bagon. <clears throat> I imagine it's quite high. Level 30. So 30 for Mama, and I think 34 or 32 or something for Rampant. Slothy, Fortress... Uh, again, just working on leveling it and getting its moveset by leveling. We're still looking for rollout. Curse, spikes, payback. It learns some decent moves along the way. I think we're alright, to be honest. Right, well with that, <clears throat> I'm going to leave you for today. Love you and leave you. Never save. And then we'll be back with this tomorrow. And then, like I said, Wednesday will probably be King of Retail, etc, etc. But thank you for all the love today. It's been a fucking wild-ass journey. I can't wait to make the YouTube thumbnail today that's going to say Full Team Wipe, because that's exactly what it was. Full Team Wipe right before the Elite Four, and I'm starting right from the beginning again. Love that for us. Right, love you lots. Thank you for all the support today. I'll see you all tomorrow if you're going to be around. More Nuzlocke. And that's that. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Happy Monday. Mwah.